They say they won't smoke, y'all. To all my critics, detractors, and attackers. We here. Cam up. Y'all know they don't want it. We gonna see you show up. They don't want to smoke. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to TD Fans Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. We are live here on Friday night. We got the Friday night smoke show. Who wants some? Beware. You better beware, baby, because it, it's time to get it, all right? Why was the smoke show created, all right? Because I have a lot of critics, I have a lot of detractors, and I have a lot of attackers. And, and, and at the end of the day, the smoke show was created to give my critics, detractors, and attackers an opportunity to come up here, tell me what they disagree about, why people shouldn't watch this show, and maybe let me know why they attack me. This is their opportunity, space and opportunity to have the conversations, and we can debate it out. We can debate it out how it should be done. No personal attacks, no feeling attacks and all of that stuff. We're going to speak facts, give our opinions, go back and forth and have a good productive conversation. We're going to profane, we're going to excuse me, we're going to um stay away from profanity, okay? We're going to stay away from insulting. I'm not going to insult you. You don't insult me. We good. We're going to keep it on the field of football. We're going to talk football, and we're going to talk our own opinions. And this is your opportunity because so many people got something to say. But when you call them out and give them all the space and opportunity, they scared to cam up. They scared to say they peace face to face. I am right here. I ain't running. Matter of fact, I am hosting. I'm hosting the smoke. OK, that's what this is for. OK, I will be dropping the link within the next five to 10 minutes. So you can go ahead and get ready, do whatever you got to do. Brush your teeth, wash your face, whatever you need to do. This is your opportunity. For some reason, I feel like we're not going to have many guests tonight. But we'll see. I know there's always a few bold ones and I'll, and I'll respect those individuals. But before we get started, we got to make a few things clear before we even start the smoke show. We got to lay some ground facts on the table before we even start. Facts. TD, before the draft, would not have taken Tua Tagovailoa at number five. He repeatedly said he would take him at nine or later if he had to. Because he had injury concerns. I felt like he couldn't read defense as well. I felt like he was a one-read quarterback, and I just didn't feel it was worth the number five overall pick. We're stating facts about my stance 
since day one. Okay. Next, I never said that Tua Tagovailoa would be a bust and that he would be trash in the NFL unless I was talking to EM Dolphin fan, which I've said that a million times to only him because I like trolling him. He is the only person I've ever said that to. I have continuously said that Tua Tagovailoa is a year three quarterback, that we'd get the best out of him in year three that would tell us what he could really be in the NFL. That don't even mean he would be good in year three, but year three is the year of Tua Tagovailoa. That's it. I've also been on the record saying that Tua Tagovailoa may not get three years in Miami because of this defense and we're in a win now mode. I also have not blamed any recent games lost on Tua Tagovailoa of any sorts. The things that I have said about Tua Tagovailoa is that he is underwhelming. He is not giving me what I need as a fan. You can have your own um, desires. He's not giving me what I need as a fan here in Miami. I am not satisfied. I am not happy. And I don't think he's the guy. I think he shows up small. He is too small. And he's brittle. He is not injury prone. He's just prone to injuries. To a tongue of our lower, I do not see becoming an elite quarterback in the NFL. It's my opinion. And again, I'm giving you all the ammo you need to give you the facts of the things I've said before any of y'all come up here accusing me of saying anything else that I never said. And if you disagree with anything that I'm saying, my critics, detractors, and attackers space an opportunity. You have every opportunity to come up here and tell me why I'm wrong, why you disagree, or give me your theory on the situation. Also, TD has never been an advocate for Deshaun Watson until Deshaun Watson won it out of Houston. Nobody on record could ever say it. You could even go back to early videos where I used to call Deshaun Watson trash just because he wasn't my quarterback. Not until this man said he wanted to be traded out of Houston did I even care for him. Also, I would take Deshaun Watson in a heartbeat over Tua right now. Tua can improve his play, and I will take Deshaun Watson in a heartbeat. I also maintain my opinion that Tua will never be on the level of Deshaun Watson and I doesn't even have the capability of potentially being. Could be wrong, but that's my opinion. I'm not even sure if he can become half the player Deshaun Watson is. My opinion. My critics, detractors, and attackers, space and opportunity. Because we have to get these moments out of the way. You know why? Because this way, those who are confused, I see what this person says, but I also see what this person says. This is the healthiest thing you can do. This ain't toxic. This is what grown men are supposed to be doing, debating it out instead of getting personal and in their feelings and crying. Why are you talking about this person? Why are you blah, blah, blah? Grow up. And stop all that immature stuff. Oh, this and that. Oh, you're this and that. And all that personal stuff. That's child's play. Let's be grown men. Let's be grown men. Get up here, cam up, and say your piece. And let's do it in a respectable way and have a respectable debate. That's what it's about. I'm just curious who's going to show up. And if you have a moment where you're able to prove me wrong or have a good point on the debate, I'm a man. I'll say, you know what? You got me there. You know what? That makes sense. That's what we do. We don't argue with you just to argue. But I'm here. Those Watson highlights you played were insane. Hey, I appreciate that. But I'm looking for my critics, the tractors, and the attackers. I'm about to drop the link. I'm about to drop the link. I'm about to drop the link. There it goes. It's been dropped. Face, opportunity. I'm going to do it the right way. I ain't going to hide behind a camera. 
I ain't going to hide behind a mic. I ain't going to hide behind my feelings and talk about any other man behind his back. I'm going to bring it to your front door and you got all the space and opportunity. Now, remember, I only want my critics, the tractors and the tackers. Now, remember, ain't nothing wrong with being a critic. I really prefer to debate y'all. My detractors and attackers, there's a level of hate, but I want to make sure you know I want you to. I want to make sure you know I want you to. Okay? So let's get it. First up, RD, what it do, man? Hey, how you doing, TD? I'm good, bro. Talk to me, man. So what is it, man? What is well, it that makes you a critic, detractor, or an attacker? It doesn't no, matter which one it is. Here's the thing. I want to go off tangent a bit away from Tua and just go back to the draft of 2020. Mm-hmm. And Because I've been looking at the highlights of your show because uh, everything is recorded, right? And that's beautiful. Absolutely. Um, so essentially, looking back at, at all of the – whether it's the, like all of the social media guys that follow the Dolphins – in our community over here. And looking back at that draft, nobody had Herbert. No one was talking about Herbert as as our potential pick as far as we were excited about getting him. Mm-hmm. We were also iffy about even picking a quarterback because people knew Burrow is not going to be available to us injury concern. And, of course, Herbert, I mean, people knew he had a ceiling, but the thing is he wasn't he wasn't doing what he's doing now in the college world. So it was always about the O-line, the O-line, the O-line, right? The well, O-line has always been our – one second. The O-line has always been our concern, okay, since that draft, all right, to today. It's always been a concern. Why? For three reasons. Number one, in the history of football, you mm-hmm. can never have an O-line full of rookies and be successful. It just doesn't happen. It's never happened and it will never happen. So this is the cockiness of our coaching staff that has got us in a predicament that the O-line, right, is not up to par with the competition. Number two, the Austin Jackson pick, right, was a complete disaster. And if you were to study this man, right, if you were to study, they whiffed on him. They also whiffed on Noah, right, just because they reached. And now be, because, you know, no one knows exactly who had the final say on Tua, right? But more and more, it's looking like it was a Greer and, and Ross pick, and it wasn't a, a Flores pick, right? Psychologically, if that's the truth, we have put Flores in a, just in a terrible situation to have to put up now with a guy that he doesn't want, knowing that the guy that he wanted he couldn't get right, but that's that's near here or there. What I wanted to talk about you mm-hmm. specifically was once we started making, you were very big on Andrew Thomas for uh, for for a lot of reasons, and of course he's not had a lot of success. But you were always anti X, and this is what I don't understand. Ever since X, like he's been the only star. Mm-hmm. that we've had by far if he had gone away a lot of people would have lost their jobs by now you've been anti-exit like i just want to understand why have you been uh, just to put the tua conversation aside because listen the the tua script it, it, he, what we felt about tua right our concerns with tua they they're all unveiling themselves right now so it's really well, let's, scary, let's go one team right? thing at a time let's stick but to the x just stick to the x you've had it for x since day one since i remember following you for the last two years since his injuries right that you have wanted this guy trade him mm-hmm. don't make sure you don't give in to to what he wants in the demands mm-hmm. for the extension or the money or whatever but this has been the only star we have had. And we've had such an issue getting stars. We got rid of Mika Fitzpatrick. See how well that's turned out. We got rid of Lermi Tansel. We've never had a better tackle than him. So we need stars because stars are basically the way you promote the team. But it's also for wins. And we can never have asked for a better playmaker for the entire team than X. So please, man. Guard X like he's one of the Hall of Famers, like a Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas type of thing. 
Because this guy is the only reason. All we right, have all right. I get you. I get you. I get your question. I just think it's I'm um, going on long. So let me address yeah. multiple. Let me address yeah. multiple things. Okay. Last, I'm gonna end up with the X. First of all, you're saying nobody was talking about Herbert. They weren't talking about him as if we wanted to draft him. But I do remember when we were doing Tuesday night panels with myself, EM, Reason, Ball Game, Fansanity, um, and others where we were talking about the pro days, how Herbert was the one that was shining out of pro days, and he's looking phenomenal. And that actually got a lot of people starting to think about Herbert. But people were already too stuck on Tua to begin with. That's number one. Um, as far as you saying that we he's the only star that we've had, I mean, Laramie Tunsil was a star. I mean, we've had plenty of stars. Um, he wasn't the only one. Getting to the subject at hand of Xavier Howard, you have selective hearing. You're saying that, oh, you just want to get rid of X. You don't want to honor him and you don't want to pay him. Can you explain to me what my reasoning was behind it? Do you Have you ever heard my reasoning of why other than just the fact that I wanted to get rid of him? Well, okay, so let's go right at the beginning, right, of mm -hmm. 2020 when the season started. X was struggling in the beginning because he was coming off an injury. Injury. You, 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 were, you were basically always calling him out for his soft coverage. Now, he has tactics and the way he plays, right? But that's just the way his, his game is, right? That's how he, you know, fades people into fooling people into throwing it his way, and that's how he gets his picks. Baby. But he's – baiting people but mm -hmm. the thing is he has his own tactics it's been successful right whether you grade him on pff whether you see the game footage right his game plan right like off the field he doesn't really have any issues even though he had some issues but they're not they're not issues now thank thankfully um he's so in such an integral part of our franchise that our fan base cannot use him as a, even in this particular draft we were thinking about trading him to Dallas and getting draft picks. I, because asked, we you, thought, I asked you why. why. What was the reason I wanted to get rid of X? You keep going on to other tangents. What is the reason I wanted no, to get rid of him? The speculation has always been that those have been the rumors, right, on the media that X might be traded out since 2020, right, because of injury concerns, whatever the – whatever the hysteria was, right? I'm saying the fan base, you play a big part of it, has to get behind this guy as what a way to, we're reason, not trading. What was the reason I wanted to trade Xavier Howard? The reality is you don't know the reason. No, you but you came in, Hold on. You came in yeah. when you heard me talking about we need to trade him. But you never took the time to say, why does this guy – I'm about to educate you so you can change your whole perspective on it and tell you why I wanted to trade Xavier Howard. I wanted to trade Xavier Howard for this very reason that we just dealt with in the offseason. I told everybody, let's not give him that first contract because half of that new contract is going to be paid out while we're in a rebuild. We're going to waste three years of his – Big money contract, not even being able to reap the rewards. We got 10 picks. Did it matter? The two years before that, we got seven. Did it matter? None of it mattered because we were in a rebuild. That's why it was easy for them to move on from Laramie Tunsil. And now I also said, then he's going to want even more money after that because he's going to be the best thing on the team. But I did point out his flaws. I give you that. I told you the flaws, and he even shocked me by maintaining a high level of play. But I never wanted to pay Xavier Howard 15 plus million a year while we were in a rebuild. And then I told everyone three years into that contract, He's going to be looking for the new big payday somewhere around $20 million a year. And that twin, what do you think he's looking for now? He has guarantees from the Miami Dolphins that they will reevaluate his contract next year and they will take it serious and, and potentially make him one of the highest paid cornerbacks in the NFL, which could be upwards of $20 million. Do we realize that Xavier Howard is about to be 29 years old? And if they give him a new five-year deal, taking him into the age of 33, 34 years old, making 20 million a year, we'll have Rashard Jones all over again. That's why I didn't want to get into this because how many more years do you have you do you think you have of Xavier Howard ball hawking and being elite? 
I give him at max if he's great this year and next year. But you're going to guarantee more money? That was my concern. And everybody got mad. Why is X being greedy? I told you he would do this three years in, and I was wrong because he did it two years in. He didn't even wait to the third year. He did it two years in, which put us in a pickle in a bind. And now we've given him guarantees that we will really reevaluate his contract next year. So I want to ask you, RD, are you going to feel comfortable paying Xavier Howard $20 million a year on a five-year contract and actually guarantee him a large sum like 60% like Byron Jones got up into his age 34 and potentially have a Rashard Jones situation again? Just curious. Are you cool with that? So the way they've always restructured their deals you're looking at two to three years of guaranteed money. And they're even more conservative than Miami Dolphins. These guys cut you after a year when you look at what we did with um, uh, Van Noy. Contract. No dead but, cap. No dead cap. We could do that. Right. Right. He'll, I mean, there will be dead cap with his contract because it's so massive. But what I'm trying to say is that Xavier Howard's deal, Xavier Howard, the player, he has never showed one time, injuries aside, right? He has never shown one time diminishment in his game in his game. But furthermore, the value he brings to our team is irreplaceable. So when you are cheering for this franchise, as we all are, and we always want him to win, you take away X, we're getting losses left, right, and center, and people are getting fired. And we can never implement any type of philosophy with this organization that the coaching staff, well, Greer and and Flores are trying to establish with this team. No continuity, nothing, no success. So right now, Xavier Howard is by far and away the best player we've had since Jason Taylor retired. Okay, where He's has just it, that where, elite. Has, where has it gotten us? Well, it's gotten us to survive and be competitive. Survive. It hasn't gotten us in the we playoffs. Haven't made the, okay, what are we talking about here? We, well, we always glorify guys that haven't even gotten us to the playoffs. Yeah, you can't you can't expect one corner to get you to the playoffs. But I tell you what, that ten and six—that's all because of him. This year we're supposed to take the step up with a lot of other players. Now going back to the Tua conversation, okay? Tua, we have real concerns with Tua. Whoever, like I was one of the individuals, as a lot of people were, including you. You wanted to see him this year. You wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. The first play of the Buffalo Bills, it's as scary as it gets because it just shows to you that the, the individual, he didn't read the blitz at all. He turned his back on nonchalant. He can't get away. He doesn't have the attributes to get away from pressure, the strong arm, all of that stuff. We thought from the neck up, he would be, you know, as good as it gets, Tom Brady type, Drew Brees type, very knowledgeable guy. But because of the Wonderlick score now that it was so low pre-draft, it's looking more and more. And the fact that he told us he doesn't know the playbook, right? 50% of the playbook. It's looking more and more of a, uh, that he's slow to process, right? But oh. looking at the game film, just one sec. Looking at the game film from last week, he was pointing out later on after the first play, he was pointing out the blitzes. The problem is we're so inept because of our our – inconsistencies and i do not like the running back that we have that we got in free agency like he's just completely useless right and we have struck out on running backs for so long we have horrible blocking with our running backs right because we've never addressed that in the draft and free agency the right way and all that essentially what i'm trying to say is that tua has a long way to go and it's not looking like he's going to get a second shot now if Bursette performs well. And if Bursette doesn't perform well, he's getting it as a result of, you know, process of elimination because we got to put a quarterback in there. But I saw, and this is what I wanted to bring up yesterday. I couldn't come on. You saw, what's his name uh, from the Panthers? Uh, Darnold, okay? And this is a serious concern. Darnold got destroyed three different times he got destroyed like in, in, as far as sacks by three people. Like they all jumped at him at the same time. The brother got up right away. He got up right away in the next play. Tua can never do that. He has limitations. Well, we, we, I think we agree. I think we agree. Right. On a lot of, I think we agree on a lot of those points. 
Um, as far as because I know there's a lot of people that's probably gonna want smoke about Tua calling his protections. Um, again, pointing at someone is not calling your protections. Identifying where pressure is coming from is not calling your protection. That's not calling your protection. Letting your running back in your entire O-line know what's going on is calling your protections, not pointing at a blitzer. That's not calling your protection. That did tell us you recognized it. But people have this fine, distinct, non-understanding of what calling protection is. They think a quarterback can sit behind the line of scrimmage, see a blitzer on the edge, and go like that. And that's calling protection. And then to make matters worse, they think that they can see two blitzers coming, actually tell his running back. He actually called his running back. Huh, right here, closest guy to me. That's you. Oh, and there's another guy. Down. Said, like his O line has no clue. That's not calling protection. And let me tell let me tell let me show you proof of that. Every quarterback in the NFL I have seen at least at least twice in a game leave the shotgun, walk all the way up to the center, and go all the way up the whole line and shout something to them. You know what that is? That's communicating and calling protection. In a year and a half, I have never seen Tua do it once. I have never seen him leave the shotgun Walk up to the line and actually yell at his old lineman his protections. Not one time. He didn't even do that in college, and it is a concern, right? So the concern. difference of, oh, well, he identified, I'm talking about calling your protections. Because I don't even know if you identified it correctly if you ain't calling it, and people got the nerve to blame the running back. He just went to the wrong man. So I sat there, looked at him, and he reached his head over and pointed at the linebacker and then said, oh, well, there's, a, there's a guy on the edge as well. So people need to understand the difference from identifying and calling protections. You got to call protections to protect you. But listen, um, RD, I appreciate you coming yep. through, bro. I got a lot no of people. problems, brother. Um, as far Thank as you. the Xavier and Howard situation, I do agree. He's been saving our behind. I just don't like what he can do to this team long term from a contractual standpoint. That has always been my issue. And at the time when I said, no, we cannot move forward for X, the one thing I disagreed with what you said is he never showed any diminishing value. But at the time when we first gave him that contract, Half of his time in the NFL was hurt. So a combination, we've never gotten the full value, and it scared me long-term that we may not get it. And even when we gave him the contract, he got hurt the very next year anyway. So he's still an injury concern that we don't want to talk about. But that's still a concern with Xavier Howard. I just hope that we can keep some healthy years with him so that he can continue to play at a high level. But it's going to be a concern, bro. But I appreciate you coming through. I respect you for coming through. Um, thanks right. for coming through, bro. Shout out from Canada, bro. All right. There you go. All right, man. We got Jan Vonk. And I see everybody backstage. I got y'all. I'm going to go in order one by one. Jan Vonk, talk to me, man. What's your concerns? Yeah. Um, no, I want to thank you for letting me on here, bro. Um, um, I'm new to this whole um, YouTube platform on following the Dolphins. I used to do it on Facebook. <laughs> Not new to f following the Dolphins because I used to live in Miami since I was three years old. I'm in Costa Rica right now, so shout out from here. That's what's up. Um, I'm a 37-year-old man, and I've been watching football, bro, since the Dallas Cowboys were running it with Emma Smith and Michael Irving and Troy Aikman, bro. So I know a little bit about football. I may not be mm -hmm. as knowledgeable as most of y'all out here on the YouTube platform. We're around the same age. Right, right, right. But... I, I, I was tuning in last season when um and into your channel and and uh, I was watching I was listening and, and it does sound at that time you know that you sound like you know what you're talking about you know I'm not gonna judge your uh, knowledge on um you know on the internal standpoint from your side mm -hmm. um but then you know I just started um not being on the same page on on the uh, ex the emotion part, you know, because mm -hmm. I consider myself to be an average fan. Obviously, when we win, of course, I'm happy. I'm all pumped up. But when we lose, yes, I'm upset. And, you know, it depending on how we lost and what caused the loss, you know, I would just focus on that and not just blame mm -hmm. one guy. 
Okay. And what I've listened so far or throughout, you know, the, the, the ending of last season, throughout the off season, and so far, you know, is that you're bashing Tua, which if that's mm -hmm. uh, that if that's what you do, that's fine. But the thing is here, bro, that I wouldn't call, you know, Tua the problem or that he's not capable of being the guy. I mean, we knew that, okay, if you guys want to name him injury prone, he can't read defenses, this, this, and that, whatever. It's okay, but we knew that um, him coming out of college, we we knew it. And and supposedly, you know, our, reg our regime, you know, our front office, Greer, Flo, supposedly we had a plan in place for this. The fact that we got rid of Laramie Tunsil, we got picks, led me to believe the entire time Tua was our guy because we knew we weren't going to need a left tackle. We're going to need a right tackle if we're going to bring in Tua. So we can get rid of uh, Tunsil, get some draft picks, and probably, you know, work on, uh, you know, drafting the right people for Tua. So that means we, we should have had a plan in place if we're going to get a small, uh, below average size quarterback you know, behind the line that hasn't worked since he got in. He has, and it hasn't worked now, obviously. So if Tua was to be a bust, I'm not calling him one yet. Um, I'm in with Tua to be 100, bro. I seen what he was able to do in college. I seen that game in Alabama. He looked good, man. He made a long ass pass, bro. I'm sure that if we give him the right tools and we went out, we got him waddle. You know, we we're trying to get him tools. Uh, we just haven't fixed the offensive line. Of course, Tua is not perfect, bro. He 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 did call out the mic, and then he did call out the blitzer. And, and who did, who did he tell? Who did he tell? That that's what I'm saying, though. He at least pointed that way, so he's reading that. All right, but but, but what good does that do? It still gets okay, him hit. But, right, right. Okay, that's cool. But how do you and how do I know that he's not saying, "Hey, bro, this is the blitz right here. Take him." <laughs> He did. He told a running back that. Okay, so if if but he did do that, then the running back should have, you know, covered he did. The, that, that, the that running side. back, the running back did cover it. There were two guys actually blitzing. He told the running back to take the linebacker yeah, right the, up the, the middle. Mike was blitzing. Yeah, he obviously, he, and the blitzer twenty three yeah. hide and and, yeah. and he did point it out. He t yeah, he pointed it out. But when you tell the running back to take take the um Mike, mm -hmm. and then you point twenty three. Who do you want the um running back to take? The mic. Who are you pointing at? Twenty. Why are you pointing at twenty three versus going up to that O line and making sure they got your protection on number twenty three? Slide left. How do right. that? That's what I'm saying. So we're 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 over here arguing. Not not me and you, but people are yeah. arguing about the fact that he pointed at twenty three. Right, right. How is the O line supposed to know that they need no, to get twenty three? And I agree with you. And so that that's the issue. The example you gave this previous guy from Canada makes sense, and I do see uh, quarterbacks do that a lot when they creep up. They're like, and, and they're, they're, they're they're talking to their line. Of course, of course. but I everybody agree with you. makes maybe all... you know that that is something we can work on, and maybe he is. Go ahead. No, I was saying. Go ahead, bro. I, I know, Sorry about that. I, I, I know you're just I saying maybe that. I know you're saying that maybe that's something Tua can work on, but when people blame the offensive line for that. And I come to the offensive line's defense and tell them who's, whose fault it actually is. I'm picking on Tua. So I want to back up. Right. No, no. You, I, I, I want to back up from where you first started and said, you know, there was at some point at the end of last year, you know, emotionally you start picking on Tua. Give me an example of that. Uh, well, okay. Maybe um, throughout a game, I, I, I can hear you say, like, oh, that was such a good play, bro. Great. Good, 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 good. Keep going. About Obviously, who? We're uh, about Tua, maybe. Okay, about I'm Tua. glad you recognize that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the same game, maybe, you know, at the end, because you didn't like the end result. Obviously, I didn't like it either. Oh, shit, man, this ain't going to – I'm sorry about cursing. I didn't mean to do that. I know, I know you made a mistake. Go ahead. It could get, a, get, get us uh, in trouble here. But, oh, snap, you know, he's not the guy, bro. He – this, this, and that, you know, on the on the same – On the like, same game. Just one up in the ear. yeah. So, so is it fair for me? Is it fair for me if Tua does a good job reading a linebacker and he throws a beautiful slant that I cheer about it? That you recognize that I've done, and then the next play, you know, he makes a boneheaded play and just doesn't throw it to a wide open guy, and I say, "Oh my gosh, this is the crap I'm talking about." Is that fair of me to just call it how I see it at that moment? 
Yes, that's fair. Yeah. So you, but, so you but feel, not go all, all, all in saying it's a bust because we don't know that yet. We haven't well, given hold on, hold on, the opportunity hold on. to. You heard me call to a bust? Well, not uh, say B-U-S-T, but oh, everything okay. we're insinuating would lead yeah. that. It always it always ends up being the insinuation or how it's perceived. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not responsible for what you insinuate and what you perceive. That well, is your you're business. Saying that, that he's not the guy, that he's not going to be a lead, that he's not in my this. in my opinion, and I'm that, in my opinion. Not, am I not entitled that? Now let me ask you a question, John. Sure. If I say I don't think Tua is ever going to be elite and he's not the guy, it's just an opinion. But four or five years from now, he's not even in the NFL and nobody picks him up. Did did my opinion turn out to be on point? Yeah, if that's the scenario, of course. Yeah, so what's wrong with me having one now? There's a lot of people who feel like he's going to be great and be one of the greatest things ever. They have an opinion too. Right, right. And we disagree about those opinions. But why is that something that actually makes people hurt in their feelings? Because well, someone has is, an opinion. Well, it's not the opinion. It's, you know, uh, the, the way I see it, bro, our, our organization, bro, has been needing, has been wanting a franchise quarterback for so many years, bro. After go get Dan Marino. That's what we've been. Well, at least I thought that's what we were doing here, bro, with Tua. And we're not even giving him the opportunity to do it, bro. Do you think Tua is the franchise quarterback? Well, right now, to be completely honest, based off of your eye test, forget the. See, l let me say this: let, if, if let, you don't mind, if you don't yeah, mind, go let me, I gotta say something to everybody real quick. There seems to be this one word missing in our community, and I'm not talking about you, John, John Vaughn. There's this one word that's missing in our community. It's called accountability. When we talk about Tua Tagovailoa, the only thing we want to talk about. Is what everybody, why everybody else is making him not look as good as you believe he should be. Can we for one day focus on what he's responsible for? What he's coming short of? But what let he me say isn't this. doing? Because I that's what I talk about. So whenever I go and I watch film and I break down um, the film, when I'm talking about the old line, I'm talking about what they didn't do well. When I say two is, is his fault on that one play, I'm talking about the accountability that he owns it, on that play. It, it was also Jesse Davis's fault on that other play because you can see that, that he got he hurt. Full, full, yeah, of course, bro. Have but, I ever said otherwise? Well, I, I haven't heard that. I'm just saying uh, the same way that on that play, yes, it could be Tua's fault. And I agree. There's more than one play where Tua didn't make the right read. He didn't throw it in the right place. Um, and he did mess up. Did this last one, you know that that wasn't Tua's fault that he got hurt, bro. The, the fact that he he he, you know, received I, that hit, bro, and, on and his I, blind side. And I agree with you. I think everyone knows that the hit on Tua that hurt him was not his fault. Right. Everyone knows that, but some people since seem to argue with me, like, why are you blaming him for getting hurt? And I've never said such a thing. And. The, 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 the thing is that there's just like some type of national uh, sports media narrative, bro, where Tua's not it, he's not this, he's not that. And to why, see us, why, why? Well, why were they saying the complete opposite in the entire draft process, bro, before Who? we even selected Who? all the, entire, the same guys that are talking crap about him right now? That's all why on him, bro, saying this guy is it. He has this. He has that. That's why it's and now important. They're flipping on him, bro. That's why it's important who you listen to. Let I'm me talking ask you about Mike Florio. This guy, uh, what's Let his me... name? Col Colin, whatever. Coward. Col Rich Col Eisen Colin has Coward. been on point. He, he's still. Let me ask you a question. Tool. Let me yep. ask you a question. Do we have concerns about two or reading defenses right now? Concerns. Well, I didn't say he's. I'm not gonna say he sucks at it. Do we have concerns? Doesn't dude, mean he. We, uh, me, my concern is the entire communication, bro, between no, Tua O line, I'm, because I'm, he did show me he was able to read at least that play, man. Maybe I'm, not the I'm, first one. I'm giving you. I'm giving you. I'm giving you some yes or no questions if you want to help me out. Do we have any concern about him reading defenses? No. No, none at all. Even though uh, when we, I don't. even no. though when we watch film. Even though when we watch film, there's guys wide open all over the field, and all he's doing is staring at one guy, hoping to get him open or forcing the ball Dude, to him. But, but how how do we know 
if this is not the type of offense the coordinator is calling, bro, this is a progression type. So I'm look so at this glad, guy first. I'm so glad look you said that. Look at this guy second. Look at this guy third. But he doesn't have the time to look at this second guy because after no. the first one, the play's not there. If you look at the first play from the Bills, that's exactly the first play they ran against the Patriots. It just worked because that was the first play of the entire season to start off with. But as they start watching tape, they start seeing our coordinators, the type of play calling, bro. It just gets more difficult and difficult, especially when you don't have an O line protecting you. Will. And that's the difference between him and some of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL their rookie year. That's the difference. Some of these guys come out from college so good that how dare you look at Mac Jones? He wouldn't go in first read. He started to play looking down the middle of the field, surveying the safeties. Then he start making. He determines his first read. The defense should be determining your first read if you got it. Cookie cutter quarterbacks, before they snap the ball and before they evaluate the defense, they already know where they're going. All right, this play that we're calling in the huddle, I'm pretty much going to try to go to Parker for the slant. Gets at the line of scrimmage, bump and run coverage with a safety coming downhill. You ain't got no more slant. Evaluate the rest of it and say, do I have a better option? But he ain't got that in his arsenal. And if we go with that whole, oh, well, they're not going to allow him to, then that's a concern in itself. Right. Because Deshaun Watson, free range from day one. You know why? Because he know everything there needs to be of known course. about the defense. I, I can't he's argue out, with you. That's he's out there at the line of scrimmage. He out there at the line of scrimmage saying, oh, I see how they're playing it. He's creating his play. Of course. We got, we're sitting here arguing about a cookie-cutter quarterback that can't orchestrate his own offense and get his team out of one situation to get him into the other. And he's admitted it. He's admitted it dude, to us that, all. Dude, he's that, told us this. Oh, but that playbook wasn't for him, bro. No, that no, was for no. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Bro, I don't that care for, for him, I don't bro. care for I don't care if the playbook is for <laughs> for Pat White. Come on, man. I don't care if the playbook is for Pat White. They dude, gave it to that, you. That hold, hold, hold on, bro. I don't care for playbook is for Pat White. That they OBC gave it. Wasn't they gave you, it to bro. you. It that doesn't OBC, matter. Those that playbook he, wasn't for he him, got bro. he got the playbook the same time as Ryan Fitzpatrick. He got he wasn't the playbook. even supposed to be in by the time he was in, bro. They who, they who, rushed who him, in, bro. Who cares? They just wanted to see his new toy. I, I can understand the who fans cares? being excited and anxious about seeing you know our new quarterback. Nobody, but, no, dude, nobody, get, up, nobody cares. Nobody cares wanted. about those things. He wasn't ready. He, he wasn't, wasn't ready. ready. Of course not. No, no he nobody wasn't. Ca Nobody cares. It's the NFL. You're ready or you're not. Your opportunity. Dude, Your opportunity. I mean, this is today's NFL, bro. I'm not liking today's NFL, bro. What, what happened? What? Dude, we gave Tannehill seven years, and we yeah. only had one winning season, man. Hey, hey, and they and gave. We were, and, and they and they gave Justin Herbert. They gave Russell Wilson. They gave Dak Prescott. They gave all the real good quarterbacks in this league that come out from year one, game one, showing you I'm your new guy. They gave him. They gave them a week. They came out and proved it but, in a week. But, but they so also at the end of the day, things that gave them a system that they can excel on, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, what we need to start and, and understanding. Look, look at what Herbert had, bro. He he had caliber type receivers, bro. When has Parker been in the top one? But I, but hold on, hold on. You just told me with a trash old. You just told me with a trash old line, you can't go to your second read though. So what does it matter right. about his receivers? Herbert had the same situation, but he still found a way to get to that I'm second read. I'm sure he had a read. way better offensive line than we do. They ha see, he had one and see, he still does stop, right now. Stop, stop, y'all. See, this is what y'all do. Y'all make assumptions and don't do no research because you want to defend two every chance you get. The man had the worst old offensive line in the NFL. Go look it up. The 32nd oh. ranked offensive line in the NFL. The 32nd ranked offensive line in the NFL. Okay. Herbert. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and what did they do this offseason? They, they no, 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 no. Let's go. A, a Let's go back. No, line, no, no. Bro. Don't move the goalposts. Don't go. Don't move the goalposts. Okay. No. Okay. So you're right about last year. Okay. You're right. You're right. Oh, oh, but what did they do? They fixed it up. He has a great offensive line now. But they, he proved. He, he proved. Of, he uh, proved uh, that even if you didn't fix it, I'm gonna get some things done over here. Do you get that? Yeah. He yeah, proved. Yeah, he yeah. proved to his organization. With a trash old line, I'm still gonna give you my heart and soul and show you that I'm your franchise quarterback. Right. And, no, and, and, and what did they do to reward him? You know what? We're gonna make you. We're gonna make you Dude, look like Brady and the rest yeah, of them. Shouldn't we do that too, bro? 
whether or no, no, not. For, for, let me tell I you mean, something. You know why I love the fact that Tua didn't have protection like that last year? Because I'm tired of these quarterbacks coming into the NFL, getting everything they want, and then they look amazing. And as soon as they get off that, no, no, no. As soon as they get off that rookie deal, as soon as they get that forty million dollars, and their O line isn't as good, and they keep on winning eight and nine games every year, your quarterback, told you, you never got to see that from the get go. Why, why are we jumping that far with our quarterback, with our team, bro? Because y'all, so y'all, when are we going to realize we got to stop being okay with mediocrity? We got to be. Dude, stop, that's what I'm gotta, trying to do. I'm uh, trying. To, what what we we're gotta, doing is going back to what what this organization has been for the past fifteen years. But you want to get an elite quarterback. Agency and you want to get an elite quarterback. This organization has never done since um for the last twenty two years. Going to get an elite quarterback is what this organization has never done. So we're not going back to the era where we're losing all the time. We're trying to go to a new era where we fix the main problem that we've had for all these years: an elite quarterback. Yeah, but that's not our only problem, bro. We have a it's, soft. It's not our line. only problem. We will have a, better, a bad running game. Will a we better O line defense? Will a better O line make Tua look better? Absolutely, so. absolutely. Yes. But you know what? With a better O line, he still ain't gonna look like Deshaun Watson. Well, facts. I don't not, care bro. who want to argue probably that. No, not. we need to ain't give no him some time to see. He ain't, can probably be no. better than that, bro. Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! We just need to give him how how much how many years does uh, bro, Deshaun Watson it, have in the NFL? It bro? is not possible for him to be better than um, Deshaun you Watson. You don't know that. You don't know, know that. It. I don't know, I know that. That's why no I'm not Shadamas. saying that, bro. No, no Shadamas. No Shadamas. Dude, anybody, on, anybody, but anybody that argue that, you, you, listen. Bro. You sitting right, here, right. you sitting here, and telling me Deshaun Watson, who had Julian Davenport over there blocking for him at left tackle most of them years. Dude, he sounds a lot better than any a, of our O lines right now, bro. First of all, Austin Jackson is the one who beat the um, Julian Davenport out in camp last bro, year. Maybe we should bring him back, bro, and have him play instead of Austin Jackson. No, 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 no. You know Wait, what? Austin I'm... Jackson's looking right now, bro. Let's do that, bro. Oh, so you forgot when Austin Jackson got hurt last year and Julian Davenport? What? You for you forgot what happened? You see, y'all just be talking. Y'all just be <laughs> talking. Same way you not, talking, bro? How can you, you say forget? Did it's you, not did you be, not forget you what Julian that. Davenport did? Either. Do you not forget? Do you not remember what Julian Davenport did when he came in the game? That oh my god! See, this is why I know y'all just be talking, bro. I am telling you now, we can keep on hoping to see. This is what our fan base needs. This is where their issue is. There are a handful of quarterbacks that come into this league elite from day one. Those guys, first of all, they make they up didn't about have a hip injury. They for, they had ACL injuries. Well, not at the they time had they, other were injuries. They, they were ready bro. to go. Physically speaking, it, they were ready to go, bro. And came into the NFL in their rookie year and got another ACL injury, came back still balling. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of that, listen, I got I got, I got, got uh, an example to wipe out most of all these theories that people throw. But what I'm saying is we got elite quarterbacks that come into this league. And what we don't fail, to, what we fail to realize is quarterbacks that come into this league like – um. To a tag of our lower, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I'm about, to, I'm about to get, I'm about to show you what you're talking about. There are about seventy percent, eighty percent quarterbacks that come into this NFL and that are high draft picks that are like Tua Tagovailoa rookie year, Josh Allen's trash rookie year. You know, there, there's a lot of those guys. But I want you to sit here and name to me guys who had a trash rookie season mm -hmm. that are now elite. I'm gonna start out and give you one, Josh Allen. Help okay. me with another. Help Dude, me with another. Not, not elite, but looking a lot better in a new uh, team. No, no, this guy, no. Sam Darnold, bro. And okay, look at what okay. The Jets you know did what? Him. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna give. Let me give you Sam Darnold. Keep going because we talk about a whole. But I could probably name 50 quarterbacks in that same era time frame. But y'all are gonna hold your hat or look at Josh Allen. We're talking about quarterbacks. What, what I'm that, trying to that, say that were bought that were trashed their rookie year and then all of a sudden end up being good. It doesn't happen, it happens at like a two percent rate, right? But dude, I but think we're that sitting we just, here and keep on betting on two percent instead of just no, going to get the hundred. Okay, no, I can give you that point, bro. And you're you're all in on that point, you have it, bro. Okay, I only named one after this Josh Allen, it's not even elite, bro. He's just good, he looks okay, he looks better, all right. And, and but that leads to my point, bro. Why is he doing good now in a different team, and he wasn't doing that good on a different team? 
on, on the team that drafted him. The same thing with us. Look at Tannehill. He's looking a whole lot me, better with the Titans, man. Let me let me ask you a question. Um, you're talking about Sam Darnold, right? I just question. mentioned him. Yeah, based on what you uh, who did Sam Darnold? Over. What teams did Sam Darnold play? Dude, he's played what the uh, Falcon, the three the know. three worst teams Same, in the the three worst defenses in the NFL. The three worst in last night's game, he didn't even look as sharp. Right, but. He's winning and he's a lot better than what he was because of the entire situation he's has around him right now. On and, that and then team. when no 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 then when he start losing, you know everything we'll starts coming down to earth. See, my man. We're we talking about a guy see. who's played the, the the three worst defenses in the NFL. Dude, he played against a team that beat the crap out of the the Green Bay Packers, bro. The three worst defenses in the NFL. I just said something really important. You just neglected, so it's okay, bro. I see. But where one, you're going. but 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 once again. You go, you're going to pull out an anecdotal situation, like one-off, a one-off. We're talking about a low percentage. Sam Darnold. Dude, but um, I gave you an example. And, you asked me and for somebody, and I gave it to you, bro. No, no, no. I, I, no I, 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 t- I wanted you to actually list them off so I can show you how many versus how many have come into this league in the first round and different stuff like that. Bro, it's low. If you don't show an uh, it factor in your rookie year, like, guys show it factors and still lost a lot of games. Peyton Manning threw all those picks, but you still seen an it factor. Kyler Murray out there running for his life, but you still seen the it factor. Yeah, Two- and others don't even, didn't do it, and they're having a heck of a, a, a good stance with the team they're, that they're on. Lamar Jackson, bro, was questioned about his throwing. Lamar, uh, yeah, he was questioned about Josh his. Allen, too. Oh, no, he was questioned about his throwing, but he, he showed it. Matthew, I'm still not even sold on him yet. He's either, still questioned about his throwing, but his running is so superior that it offsets his lack of throwing. Correct, but don't you think that these guys are brought into a team knowing all these flaws and all the 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 upside the man, and everything? The man won an MVP, bro. The man right, won- based, based on his legs, but that's what I'm trying to get to, bro. At every, least they have something. Has its ups what, and its downs, bro. What what are Tua's ups since he's been with Miami? That's all I want to know. What are his ups? He, he, dude, yep. watch the Cardinals and 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 uh, Dolphins game, bro. He when he lets it loose, bro, he puts it up there in the right spot, bro. And I know that's what most quarterbacks do, but you know, let's not take away from him either, man. I mean, and he's mobile too, bro. He can make guys miss when, and he can take off running, bro. So the thing is that I do see a lot of ups on him. There are some downs. I'm not gonna, you know, question that, bro. And I give you the entire reason. The Cardinals uh, game is going to be the end of the Miami Dolphins franchise, Oh, my y'all. God, bro. But why don't we continue to do that? Why don't we continue to play that same way? Why he don't continue to play that same way? Because you know what we did in the Cardinals game that he did? He did that he Call just won't do? a completely different play. That's, play, that's not true. First of, yes, all, we were did, tra- first of all, we were trash on we offense look, in the um, Cardinals game. Two are using, two are using game, his bro. feet in the Cardinals game actually made us more so productive why don't we use offensive. A little bit more. You got to ask him that. No, why don't we ask our offensive coordinators? They didn't ask him to well, use I his see. feet in. The, they didn't ask him to use his feet in the Cardinals game. He just had something Dude, hit look, his brain look, that look said be more productive. Play, our first play against the Patriots, what was it? Tua using his feet scoring a touchdown. Why don't we stick stick to his uh, upsides, bro? Why don't we build off of that? Why don't we use? No, it? well, you still hey name one of his upsides yet to me. Dude, I I, I you named a game, not an attribute. He's mobile. He's mobile. And he's also what? accurate, and he can put the ball out there when he lets a, Did you just say to a touchdown? He scored four mobile? touchdowns, bro, with his feet. Doesn't that make him mobile? In 10 games? Because this one doesn't count, bro. Just two series? <laughs> <laughs> Do we're talking about, Lord? Bro, all right, bro. Here, here's the thing, though. Just, all right, all right, just let me finish right. real quick. If he tur- turns out to be a bust, which I know a lot of people are thinking and, and insinuating or whatever you want to call it, it's not all on him, bro, because then on that same draft class, we're going to have Tua a bust, Austin Jackson a bust, Igbenogany three first-round high draft picks bust. That is completely on the front office and the management structure and all of this. And, by the way, Jalen Phillips was chosen number 18. He ain't looking good, bro. He ain't looking, it, it, dude. That that would be four. I'm and, so sorry. Uh, is this I want to apologize. Fault? I want to apologize to you, bro. You lost me when you said Tua is mobile. 
you kind of lost me when you say it's mobile. Change our quarterback. We need to change everything because the only reason why we want to bring in Watson is bro, to bank lo- at least on the one position from all you of lo- those that has lost been me. Leaders, bro. No, you sir. lost me. You I lost think you me. should analyze that and see that. You know, that's you what you lost me when you to... said that Tua Tagovailoa was mobile, bro. Okay. Okay. That's you know what a mobile quarterback Josh is? Allen. You know what a mobile... Jackson, yeah, Josh Allen. Tua is um, out there. Well, yeah, Tua is doing what they doing. Move, bro. Tua is doing. Move. No, I ain't. Oh. He, he can't move like they move, but he can also move, bro. He can also move, bro. I, and and Deshaun Watson is also a mobile quarterback. I'll give When's you. When's the last time you seen Tua move? Dude, that that touchdown he he got against the Patriots, man. And the all, six you know what? The all six the time trying to scramble, trying to get away from pressure. The six yard touchdown with no the six him, yard touchdown <laughs> where no one was there. All dude, right, bro. I pre- bro. I got so many people dude, backstage, peace out, man. Dude. I already know what I you are, man, it. and I thank you for being what you are, my man. Now nah, I appreciate you coming peace. up, though, bro. Awesome, bro. God bless, man. Same to you, man. All right, y'all. Um. Listen, man, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm really just looking for accountability. That's it. That's uh, like accountability for Tua Tagovailoa. Like when he like when he actually does something that needs to be better. Like, you know what? That's what I also need to start asking everybody before we even start having a debate. I need them to name to me three things that Tua just does not look good in. What can he do to improve? Because if they can name those three things, then I'll know that they're being objective. I'll know that they're being fair. I could really take what they're saying serious and really have that conversation because the most people I talk to, this guy has no faults. He has no wrong. Everything that is wrong is only because of somebody else. Like zero accountability. Man, we want Watson, man. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You say we want Watson. Well, before Hey, we, man, you, you got quit. no problem with me. I agree with everything you say. Quit, man. This for the, this for the smoke, man. I got people that oh, got no, smoke. I, with I me. got me. It's 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 about all the people on the tour nears. And you cheated last week too in fantasy, bro. I ain't cheat, man. I beat you fast, square. <laughs> but my thing is, with all these tour nears, the, the the offensive line is young too. That's my whole issue. And they're he, ready to replace them, ain't they? They're ready to replace them. But you're not ready to re- replace <laughs> one read tour. You don't want to replace one to read tour, but you <laughs> come and say the play he got hurt on. The reason why he got hurt, Devontae Parker got doubled. And he was panicking. That's why he got hurt. He wasn't paying attention to the free blitzing. Man, I ain't finna get watch, that, watch the play. Watch that the ain't play. Nah, the one he got hurt. I think you talk about another play. This is the one where Jesse Davis just whipped. Oh, he him. got sacked. He got sacked on the play. Yeah, you about. talk about the one. I know which one you talk about yeah. with Parker. I know what you talk about. I know which play you talk about. Um, but listen, man, the injury was not his fault whatsoever. I, I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm, nobody I'm, spread I'm, that. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You know, from earlier last before you got drafted, I didn't want to draft him. Mm-hmm. I wanted Justin Herbert because you're, you're a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm a realist. <laughs> all right, all right. Every, I respect that. <laughs> everybody, everybody crapped on Justin Herbert. Say he's nothing but Tannehill. Right? Remember what everybody kept saying? They did I say Tannehill. that. I see they did Tannehill. Say Tannehill. That. I see Tannehill. I'm gonna say this to you: If Tannehill got drafted right now with this with this coaching staff, Tannehill would be a better quarterback. That's what people don't understand. It's about coaching staffs and fits. Mm-hmm. And that's what kind of quarterback this team wants. They don't want a little short quarterback. I don't care what nobody say. Flores is letting it blow up in their face. That's and you know my what? Person. Flo- and this Flores is my personal wanna... opinion. Flores is <laughs> probably mad that he, he ain't going to be able to play. I'm one of those yeah. individuals. I want Tua on that field yeah. so he can yeah. show, keep coming up underwhelming. And show everybody what time it is. Yeah, people think that I, I'm happy that he's not starting. Trust me, I believe it gives us a better chance to win with Jacoby Brissett. And yeah, of course, we disagree, me and a lot of people. Yeah. But you know what? I actually want Tua to be playing because we get more yeah. of a sample size because the more he plays, the more people start to see it more and more and more. People who will make excuses for Tua know good and well they're starting to hear more and more people not believe. They know that to be a fact. They know that their the the tour support is growing less and less and less, and only the diehards are holding on to hope. 
Yeah. Because they're but, still hopeful. Nothing's wrong with that. They're still yeah. optimistic. But their problem is in the NFL, they want to point to everybody else and how they're yeah. making Tua look bad instead of ownership of what he's actually doing as well. Thank I've shown you. too many plays where the pocket was actually clean and he ain't taking shots to wide open people. But you know that that that, that doesn't yeah. exist. No, no, I'm, I've never I'm, I'm seen say, that. Let me say this. Let me say this. I feel as though he's not taking those shots, but I feel as though he feels as though his arm is not gonna make it there. Something wrong with his arm. And maybe I that hip injury I'm is still what, bothering what I him. Saw, what maybe I the hip saw injury from, is still bothering him. Yeah. Because I do not see a full, yeah, I don't see, full I don't um see. display of what I saw in Alabama. With his arms, yeah, I don't. See I don't that. see it and whatsoever, I, and I don't see what I saw. And when I went to the training camp, the things I saw him doing better, I didn't see none of that. That first game, the the young fella outplayed him. <laughs> I don't care. Nobody. No question. Played. Ain't nobody ain't good. got nothing to say. He got played outplayed by Mac Jones. Mac Jones he looked like outplayed. a pro. It's not about his statistics. It's about what he was doing pre snap. Thank you. Who does not do that? And it's, what he did post snap too. Yes, and people don't let me say this. People don't understand. Like take take Tom Brady. Tom Brady was a glorified game manager because Tom Brady had this. Mm-hmm. And that's what people don't understand. You gotta when you play quarterback, you gotta have this. If you and don't I, have this, you're not going to succeed. You're and not quarterback don't know the playbook. <laughs> but everybody's no. gonna. I'm, I'm, me personally, I feel as though we should have kept Chan Gailey. Could have offered Nah, it was his fault last year. Now it's the new OC <laughs> fault. At some Thank point, you, you got to look in the mirror. At some point. <laughs> but listen, man, I got more people backstage that want yeah. that smoke, bro. Um, I appreciate yeah. you coming through, homie. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Um, Somebody said it's funny when the Saints lost. It was Jameis' fault. Um, Hold on, let me see. When the Titans lost, it was Tannehill's fault. But um, they don't want to look at the team's O-line. You ain't never lied. And you know those people that don't like Tannehill. Oh, look at they lost. That's all on Tannehill. Even though the O-line gave up six sacks, right? Like, like the same argument, but they want to they pick and choose who they want to use it for. So it, it, it's all good, man. At the end of the day. This is what the smoke is for. And T Rich is backstage. Let's go, baby. <laughs> All that talking. I'm All here. That, now, I'm now here. Before, before he starts, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I don't expect nothing less than a full blown <laughs> excuse fest because this is the only man that I know who has admittedly said, I am a two and ear. I am not a Dolphins fan. I am a two and ear. So let's go. Tell me wanna, before we start, what are some I of wanna, the things Tua does look. not do well? Can you tell me that? Uh, I don't think it's nothing that he doesn't do well, but I think he can improve on the things that what he's already that? had, like the skill set that he already has. I'm such what a two and ear at uh, accuracy, anticipation, uh, pocket presence. Uh, what just a, what, anti what anticipation? Game. Have you seen in the NFL? What accuracy yeah, have you seen in the NFL? I mean, you can watch you can watch the Patriots game and see that. I mean, it's it's time it's slant route where he he throws it to Parker. Parker's nowhere near open. He'll point his shoulder to the flat route to make the defender bite on the flat and throw it right to Parker. When he's releasing the ball, Parker is double team, and then when the ball is released, Parker is wide open. You can watch that on the Patriots film. Two is not a one read quarterback. I watched the Patriots spam. All you guys in the chat, you guys can spam he's a one read quarterback, but there's only about two or three plays in which I felt it was one read, and that's excluding RPOs and screen. <laughs> you know I'm coming with it. You know I'm coming with it. This man played the Patriots. 92% of all, I'm just throwing that the two in true. there. I, like, what, what, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Listen, with the exception no, of no, RPOs. No, 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 no. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I'm about right, to do the you got it, you got it. No, 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 I don't have it. I don't have it. I want you to tell the people what I was about to say. Because before I could even get it out, that is not true. Tell me what I was about to say. <laughs> I thought you was going to say 92% of his plays, he looked at the first read. That's my point exactly. It doesn't matter what I'm going to say because you're already going to tell me that is not true. That is not true. 
Now you were correct on what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, this 92% guy. of this man's throws, he it's the first guy he looks at and he doesn't look away. I showed it on the Patriots film. Hike Parker. Oh, it's not there. Come on. Yeah. Hike up to the flat. Hike up Jaseki. Uh no, no, uh, uh set. It's he, I, I, bro. I done did the film study already. What are and you this watching? Is what, this is what I have to say about TD's film study. I don't want to insult your football intelligence, but you I think it up together. You ready? I, I think Tua goes through his progression so fast that the casual fan cannot see it unless he switches fields. Unless he, unless he turns his head from one field to the other, I don't think the casual fan catches it. <laughs> First of all, he only got two seconds to throw the ball, so he goes exactly. through it too fast. So he, he goes, goes through it yeah. too fast. He goes through yeah. all his progressions in 1.9 seconds. Oh, the 1.9 seconds, that's impossible. <laughs> My point exactly. The, he only the got one two where seconds. He, yeah, where he got sacked, that's impossible to go through reach that fast. I ain't talking about the sack, bro. I'm talking about in general. You said you think he just goes through his progression so fast. If he went through his progression so fast, why is there always all wide open men opposite of where he looking? I think I think when you do I think when you do your breakdown, TD is uh -huh. hindsight analysis. So if this man coverage and two of pits, the left side of the field, the right side of the field, you'll say, Oh, look, Grant got open now. But Grant is only open because T because Tua has already decided where he wants to go where to, with the ball. Thank you. He already decides where no, he wants I'm, to go he, with he the decided, ball. He decided in the play. But come on. How TV. you decide in the play when you hike it and you look one way? Period. Listen. Come, in the answer Patriots that. game. An, no, answer the question. How do you already decide? I don't think he looks one way. Play. You don't think he looks one way? Don't worry. No. I'm, get, I'm getting the film up, bro. Don't worry about it. And then I, while, you're, while you're getting the film up, I'll say this also. A lot of people say he can't run. I think he's mobile than average. He has higher than average mobility. Yeah, he, that's what we he got. Okay, okay. You, said, you told the other guy that he wasn't mobile at all. He's not a mobile quarterback because he don't run. He don't even look the same running. He don't even look like he ran when he was in Alabama. I think something still may be bothering him with his hip. But he still has mobility, though. I mean, you have mobility, but there's levels to that. I mean, he's more mobile than Drew Brees, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so he'll yeah, be a better same. he'll be a better Drew Brees. But what does it? No, Drew Brees actually had a cannon that was accurate 100 percent of the time. I would say Drew Brees had a cannon. Yeah, yeah. Drew Brees I thought he was accurate. Wow. He was accurate. Wow. Cannon. Hold on, bro. And then while you're also getting that, I, I like to say this too about just the mobility, you know, just expanding on the mobility. If Tom Brady can't fit in the Dolphins system, then you can't blame Tua for that. So Who Tom talking Brady, about Tom Brady Tom, can't fit in the Dolphins what? system. Let me explain. Let me explain, TD. Tom Brady isn't mobile. He can't avoid sacks. But a lot of the stuff you say, TD, is, oh, he, he just got to make a play. He just got to make a play. And that's just not factual. If Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, can't make a play, then why are you expecting Tua to make a play? What are you talking about? I just told you. <laughs> when did Tom Brady not make a play? What you're saying is, oh, it doesn't matter if the line is bad. Tua got to make a play. Well, if the line is hor if the line is so horrible, Brady wouldn't be successful behind this Dolphins line. Come on, Tom. Tom Brady would not be successful in Miami. Y'all keep, bro, first of all, you're making that assumption. Let's just get that straight first. And the difference between Tua and Tom Brady, like, again, I'm actually giving you, I'm a, I'm throwing you a bone on this one. It's hard to compare a veteran to him um, like Tom Brady because Tom Brady ain't going to have to deal with his O-line being like this because if he's going to read the defense and know where the pressure's coming from and he's going to make sure he has extra protection or he going to switch the, or he going to, or he going to switch the play in the line of scrimmage. He might, he might say, oh, yeah. he might say, oh, they finna bring the heat. I'm gonna turn this into a screen and let him over pursue. That's the difference. But Miami gave up like 30 pressures last game. That's an insane no, amount of the pressure. The problem y'all have is y'all act like other teams ain't giving up in a, um, a lot of pressures like that, too. And the quarterback still ain't making things happen. Nobody said it still ain't gonna be flaws and he still ain't gonna get sacked. But you okay, still so gotta you still gotta make some plays. Okay, so let's talk I saw about the Sam Darnold get mm -hmm. rocked last night on a play. 
legitimately yeah, rocked, but stood in there and delivered the first time. Even the play tour got hurt. Waddle had his guy on the inside. No, nah, you're you're insane when you when you said he should have made the pass. What do no you one mean? Is he, he did. No one is he fair. did throw the pass. It just wasn't accurate. He wasn't throwing in pressure. He got hit on his blind side, TD. He th- he got rid of the ball right before he got hit. He was getting hit. No, he was getting hit while he was throwing the ball. Oh, so that ball was in his hand while the guy was tackling him to the ground. And yeah. he pushed it forward or something lost. That's a lot. Of yeah. It didn't happen yeah. that way. But All listen, right, we'll I'll, I'll, let me let me say this one more thing. Because you refer to the Chargers having the worst line last year. And and by the way, that's yeah. PFF. I'm not really a big fan of PFF. It don't matter. The, is, the two guys that, that they had, the two guys that they had got hurt last year. Okay, I'll I'll go I'll go by PFF rankings. Mm-hmm. The Chargers were ranked number 32. Okay. When you look at the 15 teams before the Chargers, like okay. ranked last, the last 15 teams, none of them are playoff teams. Read them. That's read, them to, read, them, read them to the people. All right, let's go. From, I'm going from worst to best. Mm-hmm. Chargers number 32. Mm-hmm. Giants, Bengals. Stop, 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 stop. We got to go one by one. I'm going to show you something. The next one's Giants, right? Yeah. Do they got a good quarterback? Next one. It doesn't matter because because no, you no, don't no, need no, a, no, 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 no. You want to use it. You want to use okay. it. I'm going to show you because we okay. need to make this situation even. I want to okay, point I'll out continue. my point on your point. Keep going. I'll continue, but if you want to uh-huh. go down this route, I will question your football intelligence if you say you need a great hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, TD. If you say you need a great quarterback to make the playoffs, that ain't what I'm because, saying to because, you. Because, saying because, to because, you is, what I'm saying to you is, I'm trying to see where the great quarterback is. It doesn't matter. They had a bad no, I'm trying to see Wait, where the great, me, bro, there's a correlation. You can't ignore a correlation. I want to show you where the great quarterback, I want you to show me the great quarterback that had a bad O line. That's what I want you to show me. The great quarterback that had a bad O line and still didn't perform well. I'm not talking about the playoffs, bro. Their individual performance. Show me a quarterback, a great quarterback who had a bad line that didn't play well. Keep reading them. I'll either okay, show you well, a bad quarterback or a guy who plays still great. The 15 teams didn't make the playoffs. And we know Deshaun Watson was in there. The Raiders was in there and, as well. And, and I think Derek league, Carr is and great. And the league in passing, and Derek but Carr did, was right up. What happened? They sucked. <laughs> no, no, you keep talking about team success. See, this is the difference. If we sucked and Tua still had 4,000 yards, nobody will be talking like this. If Tua okay. was still bowling, nobody would be talking like this. So don't try to make it about that. We understand so, so, so. you need a team to win, <laughs> but you still have to perform as a quarterback regardless. Don't let you be a part of the reason. Okay, I don't want to get caught up on this, but TD said no, it's a no, coincidence. No, no, yeah, of course, course you don't. Of course you don't want to go through that list. Of course you don't want to go through that list. No, let's finish the list, bro. Oh, okay, you okay. brought it up. You uh, brought it up. I mean, the only the two, the two teams that had good quarterbacks that did not make Read the playoffs, them. the Raiders no, and the Saints. You keep, you keep saying All playoffs. Them. The two quarterbacks, the, the two teams that had a bad old line that didn't make the playoffs still balled out. Okay, that's, you that's win. my point. Mark, I know I do. I know okay. I won. I, th- I know I, I won. <laughs> I know I, I won. Think. You keep trying to make all these half excuses. Tua still got to play well. I think we both made points. That what point did you make? Line, what point that did you make? Line, that bad offensive, uh, bad offensive lines aren't making the playoffs. Oh, my gosh, man. Okay, so no offense. I think we both we, – Look, you said before the trash. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, first of all, I've seen the list of I've seen the list of um O lines that are trash. You're saying none of those 15 made the playoffs? Yeah, Carolina Panthers, Philadelphia. Read them them all. Let's get to 15. Read them all. Watch this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll start from the beginning. And most of them are below 500. But Chargers, Giants, Bengals. You might well go around 15, 16, the guys that were above 500. You might well go in that area. Because because oh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up now. I know it was a great reader, a public reader. I wasn't a great public reader, but <laughs> all you're doing is uh, reading the team name. Yeah, look, Chargers, Giants, Bengals, Jets, Miami, Dallas oh, yeah, Cowboys. We were 28th, right? We were 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, Minnesota Vikings, Denver Broncos, Las Vegas Raiders, Houston Texans, 
Jaguars, Falcons, Bears, Eagles, Panthers, and then I think the Steelers at 17. I think that's the first playoff team. Eagles didn't make the playoffs? Bears? I don't think they – I think – didn't Eagles. Washington come out their division? Actually, I think Washington came out their division, right? Who was it? Well, that was a trash division, right? It was a trash division. Yeah, Cowboys? Yeah, the worst. <laughs> like no, the person Cowboys. who got in won six games? Cowboys almost made it, but that's a trash division. I they thought the Bears made, made the playoffs. Maybe. I, I don't know. I thought Maybe. the Bears made the playoffs. If you got to think about it, then it really doesn't even matter. They made it. Yeah, they did yeah. make it. They did make the playoffs. But still, they wasn't. They wasn't one of you know. They were. They were ranked twenty. Hey, keep, keep reading that list for me real quick, T. Rich. I want to see something. Okay. Eagles. Not to make a point. Eagles. I want to see something. Not to make a point. And I'll, and I'll say this also: the the, the 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 elite quarterbacks have great lines. You'll see that. But the elite uh, quarterbacks make their line great. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Why do y'all discount this? Okay. Why do y'all ignore this? You just acknowledge, you. you just acknowledge if Brady sees a, a double blitz coming off the edge, he might not even have enough blockers, but won't he change the play to something real quick or don't even have to worry about Don't they make decisions that will eliminate that pressure? Here's Years of experience. Or, yeah, but that's uh, regardless, there are also young quarterbacks that can do that. All I'm saying to you is, but all I'm saying, to you, is, like all I'm saying to you is, that's why it's hard to compare an elite quarterback got great O lines. Is Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson not running for their life all game and making stuff happen on the run? Why do you think that is? They're extending their offensive line time. They're statistically looking better than they are. I mean, I think Deshaun line. has. Mm-hmm. I think Deshaun has flaws. Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I think he leaves the pocket too early sometimes, and he creates a lot of sass, and he makes a lot of plays. It's a pro, it's a pro and a con game. Just like Tua, his lack of mobility is pros and cons. He's going to take some sats and some dead plays. Hey, but no, I don't think Deshaun Watson is a perfect quarterback. Let's do this, bro. Me and you, real quick, because um, yeah. you br- you brought up my film analysis, right? Yeah. All right. Let's let's just yeah. look at a few plays, and I'm gonna let you pick them. Okay. I mean, I, I want you to randomly. I don't. I don't care. I want you to randomly just where where you want me to stop in the film. This is the beginning of the Patriots game. Tell me where you want to go. You want me to go to the middle of the game? I'll go to what? I just click randomly and start at a possession of ours. Where do you want to start? Uh, it's a play in the first drive where he no, no, where he went me. through three progressions. No, he, had the, he had the tight end on a curl route on a small curl route. Bro, pick. Pick pick any time in a 53-minute film, and we're going to find the, the closest drive, and we're going to go for there, and we're going to see how long we can go before he read progressions. Just go 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 on the fourth play of this drive. No, no, no. We want to go all we want to go the whole drive. <laughs> see, you want to go, you want to go to the one out of 50 times he l- probably even looked like he read progressions. All right, all right, all right. What TD is trying to do, by the way, he's trying to get us to skip the first drive because that was a touchdown drive. No, no, no. We can We're play the first drive. Three. We can play the first drive. What I'm saying is we need to play the whole thing. We can't just skip to the one play. All right, play the whole thing. Play the whole thing. Play the whole thing. But we're not about to criticize him for hitting a screen a screen play or RPO. No, no, no. But bro, what one read. Got his guy. I'm not criticizing him for him for that. RPO. That's, this is what the play. Okay. This is what the play is. Honestly, is. honestly, the RPO, technically, that's the second read. No, no, no. But I'll digress on that. Yeah. I'll digress okay. on that. Okay. I'll digress on that. You want to count the hand off? <laughs> It's a read, TD. It's a read. Hey, you know what? Call it how you want, but I'm also show you some film where he made the wrong read on the RPO. If you want to call it the first one, all right, that's fine. That's fair because you did call that out, but you can't just say, "Oh, he had the first read on the RPO." That's the second read. So you're gonna criticize him for not handing it off, then. You got to get him props when he keeps no, it. No, 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 no. You can play. determine. You can determine when he was supposed to hand it off and when he shouldn't have. If there's eight in the box, why the heck you handing it off? If there's I six agree. in the box, why you didn't hand it off? So we agreed that the RPO is multiple reads. Let, let Carlo know, okay? Looking right. He throws right. Screen. Oh my screen gosh! Play. But why, man, what, TD? You hate him so much. Why is that worth mentioning? Why, like, why is that relevant? What, to say this is what you uh, call? This is what you call? This, this this what you call a first read guy? Why is that relevant? Though? 
What do you mean? Why is it relevant? Because like, in order to be successful, <laughs> because in order to be successful in the NFL, you're not going to be able to just do this. Chad, this do was think not get it done. Chad, this is a game manager. <laughs> this is a game manager's um, play calling. This is what game managers do. No, Pat Mahomes. A lot of honestly, guys. When you really, when you're really watching games, especially in 2021, there are a lot of screenplays. Like these quarterbacks are throwing 40 and 50 times, and the screenplay is almost like the new running play. So don't let TD fool y'all on that either. I'm, bro, I'm not. I, I'm you not could, disagree. you could, you could look, you could look at the game with Tom Brady through 50 I'm passes not, with Brady. A lot I'm of those are screenplays. I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. In that and regard. you don't call a lot of screenplays. I watch football, TD. You can't. I'm, <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm not deceived. See, the thing is, bro, you can't wipe out the fact that. I'm, I can give you all of those. I'm only want to talk about the ones that aren't. Okay. See, y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to pour all those in to try to justify. You can't win. Get, you can't win in the playoffs like this. Look, I think this is it. I think this is it. He goes through three breeze fast. No, this well, is that, not it. This is a running play. That's not it. I'm gonna say it's, it's coming up. It's Solomon Kenny. It's the same play just behind the line of screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one right here? I think so. This is it. One, two, three. Just like that. That fast. That fast. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do it. You you'll see you'll see it in, you'll see it when they flip the camera. I told you he, he does it so fast, he doesn't catch it. No, no, no. I've never said he never. I've been pointed out. One out of fifty plays. One, two, three. Hits, hits, hits the check down. Okay. Yeah, because the, the, it, it was nothing open on that play. TD, you trying too hard? Not, bro, to bro, like bro, 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 bro. I, I, bro, I'm not tripping. Hits the check down. You, no, no, no. Right it was important for us to get to the first one because now, now I get to show you my point. I mean, and let me tell you, it's very indicting that you know exactly which play he actually does. Yeah, I mean he does it on every play. To be honest, every play is up. Stop. Stop. Except the deep ball to Parker. Stop it. Another one. First read. Screenplay. Yep. Keep moving. You're trying to push a narrative. No, this is all he can do. This is all why, he can do. And, and, and another thing, every progression, if he ever does, is the check down. But why is it worth mentioning on a screenplay? Because like, why is it relevant? Why do you feel like your I, it's relevant? It's relevant because this is the only offense they feel he can handle. While it's Johnson, I don't care what I don't care what drive. I'll talk about it on any drive. Two is not a one read quarterback at yes, all. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> you know it. Is it. So this is a new drive. Yep, the beginning of okay. one. Think yeah, we I think we turned them over. Short one. Look, that's an amazing throw, by the way. One read. That is an amazing and throw. And and this is a minute, no, hold on, hold on. This is an amazing throw. This is an amazing throw to you. To me, it is. To me, it is. Okay. And, and, well, and, we, and, well, we know we know it is to you. We know it is to you. you. Hold on, hold on. To anticipation. Wait, Where wait, do you want to go? Camera clips. Hold on. We will. Where does he want to go? He throws them open. Where does he well he well he sure didn't he sure threw it to the ground where he couldn't catch it. Where does he yeah, want to go? Was. Where does he want to throw? Did he ever change direction and look anywhere else? Where look does he want to throw? No, no, no. Nobody wants to hear that because the entire time hate, hold on, hold on. The <laughs> entire time. See, see, let me let me let me help you out with something, bro. This is what I be talking about, right? On this play, I want you to look at Waddle. Waddle is the important one on this play, and you say my breakdown behind sight. This is the stuff you have to read. First of all, let's understand Jaseki's route. Jaseki's route is literally a post. Jaseki's route is literally a post. He got his man on him, a linebacker who could back out into it, and a safety who's over the top of it, okay? You have, you have, you literally pre-snap can determine that this can be a triple cover situation or a double at best. You already can determine that. But you know what? You also got man to man and you got Waddle running across. And if you know Waddle's route, knowing that it creates his own pick with Parker, that is a easy, if you want to do a first read, this is the easy one to do. This is the easy one to do. 
But, okay, but he did. Instead, mm -hmm. hold on. Instead, he picks Jaseki, who's man to man with tight coverage now. He can't throw it yet because of the linebackers. As I said, if Jaseki even clears a little more, you got another linebacker. And if the safety's smart enough, he's going to close in by the time you do want to throw it. And what ends up happening? By the time you do want to throw it, it's too slim of a hole. It's too slim of a window. You can determine these things pre snap. That's all okay. I'm saying. And this so, is what I want to say. But you want him to follow the same guy in a coverage that already looked like it should not be your first read. You want to give me a first read? Is this RPO? Does it matter? Yeah, it matters to why, you why? because in, RPO, hold on, hold on, hold on, in RPO, RPO, you have to hit the first read, or you'll get you'll get uh too many too many offensive linemen downfield. You'll get a penalty for it. No, 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 no. First of all, offensive linemen being downfield just doesn't matter on this play. If it's a, if it's a running play. It's a. It's obviously if you look at what he does with the fake handoff. Well, the half look like a running. Handoff. That's a running play. That's a running play. The the running the the linemen are run blocking. They do not retreat. Hold on, you you don't lost your mind. Not a single person pulls. You could you could, but but people pull on running plays. T D. You know you know you know what, bro? Let me tell you something, man. This is the stuff I be talking about. Can you <laughs> can you can you identify the mic on this play? Because you know the quarterback needs to keep his eyes on the mic. Can you identify the mic? Let me help you out. I'm gonna send I mean, I Waddle. See, I I'm, gonna see send, the I'm gonna send Waddle in motion. I now see the you, mic. Now yeah. you real should identify the mic. Who? Right here, right? Yeah, that's the center. Right here, right? That is the center, yes. What what does he do right here with two reading it? He blitz. What does he do? Huh? He blitz. So if 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 if, if this is quote unquote an RPO. That's why he pulled it. But again, even on all your RPOs you keep talking about, as soon as he moves off of um, pulling that ball, he locks on to a guy, regardless of the pre-snap read in the situation, regardless, this is what he does. Right here, where do you think that this is really going to be open? This is just yeah. great. This is just great mm -hmm. coverage by number 23. You're forcing it. It is. I agree. But instead, 100%. Of for, but instead of forcing it, you're not trying to look anywhere else. You're not okay. trying. That's all but, I'm saying. But everyone in the chat, this is hindsight analysis. Because if Tua checked it down to Waddle and Waddle got five yards and Kasiki was open, guess what TD would have said? He would have said he had to, he has to hit Kasiki. He's wide open. He's in the middle of the field. This is hindsight no, analysis. No, no, no. This let me show you what let me show you what TD will say. I'll show you what I'll say. Don't try to tell me what I'll say. He doesn't he doesn't know if Kasiki is gonna get open or not. Don't try to tell me what I'll say. Everybody knows that's what TD What I would say is he looked at Jaseki and then he went to another read. You can't go to the second read in RPO, TD. That's a penalty. You don't have time to do that. What are you talking about? You cannot go to the second read in an RPO. Actually, Tua got a penalty, and it, and it honestly wasn't the lineman's fault. It was his fault on the second to the last driver, the third to the last driver, because he you held it just too long. Said, you just said you can't go to the second read on an RPO. You cannot. You cannot. It is not advised. Because, no, because, you should because, know that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, let me educate people on the rule. The reason why T. Rich is saying you can't go to the second read on an RPO is because the offensive lineman, quote unquote, by the time you go to the second read, will have already passed one line past the one yard past the line of scrimmage. They cannot pass one yard, or it's basically an illegal man downfield. But how right. long does Tua hold the ball waiting on Jaseki to get but open? That's analysis. He doesn't know. The, on this play, listen, TD, I'll, I'll give you a lesson. On this play, the lineman just so happened not to go too far down the field. No, but no, no, T, I'm not, but I'm not doesn't grade, know that. I'm not, I'm not even grading the lineman. I'm not grading the lineman, bro. That, that ain't what I'm T, doing here. I am no, 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 no. Let me point out what I'm talking about here. Let me point out what I'm talking about here. <laughs> right here. Do you not have? Do you have a good route? Do you have a good play in Jaseki? He doesn't know yet. Does does Jaseki run a clean route and a good route where he has he separation and feel yet. good around? He, this, does, does two and, okay, all I'm asking point is five, all point I'm, five seconds. This is you freezing, and this is you pretending that this is you acting as God when watching these film analysis instead of breaking it down from a logical viewpoint.
Instead of I being am, logical, I this is you. you this is you being the you. eye in the sky. Yeah, this is you playing eye in the sky. Yeah, I am playing eye in the sky. Maybe two would need to play it. Maybe he I needs mean, to. Two play. is not God. He's because not God. We, but... Because we need we need <laughs> too much on the bones, and I could pull up real quarterbacks who are already off of that read based off of the defender playing the tight coverage and having a threat underneath because he knows he can't throw the ball until Jaseki clears in the middle of the field. Look at the linebackers. If a quarterback can't see linebackers sitting still, knowing he's not going to be able to clear that route until he gets to the second hash, then you go to the other side. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to get caught up on this. I don't want to get caught up on this. I, I am ninety nine. I am ninety nine percent sure that anybody who teaches the anybody who teaches the RPO tells the quarterback to hit your first read on the passing play to avoid a penalty, and that's all I'm gonna say. That's like, all I'm gonna say. Like I said, this is the only offense that they feel comfortable with him running because right. anytime they put him in any other plays that says otherwise, he's just not getting it done. Look at that. Look at that. That's horrible. Look at that play, guys. The the coaching staff feels so they they hate this line. They know the line is trash. They have a running back, a wing running back on the line because they know that the right tackle cannot block. So they bring Gaskins in to help. That brings that gives to a false sense of security because he thinks, oh, my blind side is protected. I got I got Gaskins dual teaming the, the right end or the left end. I have look to at this. Look how, to look how he drives through this. This T. is Rich, this is horrible. T. Rich, I have to ask you a question. Does the court a quarterback knowing his play means he knows where every eligible receiver is supposed to be? I'm just asking you a, a question. Is yeah, a quarterback yeah, knowing yeah, his play? Yeah. He's supposed to know where every receiver is supposed to be. Yes. What is the highest probability receiver on every play when the pressure ends up getting there? I'm confused. The check down. Okay. Yeah. When when as soon as I don't know, know what you're asking. As soon as you see that pressure coming, you need to if you ain't got it there, you need to focus on your check down. But this isn't a blitz. This is a false sense of security. He, First I mean, of all, thinking, they're sending five. They're sending five. Stop saying that it is not a blitz. They're yeah, but you got five. you got you got mass protection. You got I seven. You got seven blocking. I don't care. As soon as you feel the pressure, that matters, TD. That matters, TD. As soon as you feel the pressure, are you supposed to say, okay, I got max protection, protection, even though I see the pressure, it doesn't matter because it's supposed to be max protection. So I think, I think uh, you're telling on yourself because when you have max protection, just, you a all quarterback I did has, is ask you a question. If you see a guy about to sack you, what are you supposed to do? What is your last resort? That's all I'm asking you. Yeah. You hit the check down. I agree. You, you, first of all, you got to look at him, right? Yeah. You got to look at him. At what point does Tua feel the pressure? At what point? That's a, that is his blind side, which oh, is okay. supposedly double team. Okay, all right. It's always so. And you don't you and, and quarterbacks do okay. not expect to feel the pressure that fast. Okay. That's not normal. This is blind side. This is blind side. And his blind side, which then, is supposedly then, double team. Start right here, and then when he escapes his blind side, he's still looking at the same man. Look at him. Look at him. He, he steps up in the pocket. The defender just hitting the ground. They pancaking him on the ground. He he actually has a beautiful pocket now. But I get it. He's frazzled because he's not looking there anywhere else. What is he okay, supposed to Okay, contest, and then we'll move on. I'll kill you with this. This is third and long. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter if he hit the check down. He's trying Always to make a play. Looking for this the is third and long. That's what this Nick is Saban third and said. long. That's what this Nick Saban said. Long. That's what Nick Saban said. Third and long, everyone he in the chat. Third and long. He, he said two is problem. He wants him to hit the tight end. <laughs> he said he said two is problem is always looking for the big play. Always looking for the big play. I, 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 let me hold on. Let me back up here. TD, I'm, I'm killing you right now. I'm giving you. Know, all and what I should be doing is showing you. <laughs> what I should be doing is showing you the difference between him and Mac Jones on these pressures and on these blitzes. That's what I should show be a, showing you. Show, show me a bad play by Tua. What do you mean a bad? That's play what by I want to see. Show me, show me a bad play by Tua. I'm still looking for the good one. Show me, show me a, a egregious play by Tua. No. And why no, are you no. looking? And, and why are you looking for this play? Don't worry, about you it. Admit, it always shows up. Mm -hmm. It always shows okay. up. 
Well, this is the play that I was talking about. He, he's pointing towards the flat. He's looking at the flat, and you'll see that when on, on the second view. You'll see that on the goal line view. I he's actually looking like, at the flat. I actually where, like look, him. I actually like him throwing to the flat on this play. Look where he look where he makes that decision to throw to Parker. Back it up to that point, TD. Boy, because you said boy. because I said I said he has elite anticipation. Look where he makes that decision. Where he makes that decision, basically, why Parker is double team. And once again, when we talk about the accuracy, yeah, let's nitpick. No, no, you want to know? You're the one who said that. You're the one who brought that up earlier. And that's what and that's what TD that's what TD like to do these days. He like to criticize ten and twenty and thirty yard plays now, because it's harder for him to criticize to it. So let's criticize the oh, 10, what are, what 20, 30 yard plays. No, 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 no. We we gonna keep on staying on these little dick and dunks because we need this to see a, what it gives us. I, this I is the second read, by the way. This is the second read, by the way. Stop that was the second read. Oh, okay, go back. Go back to the goal line view. Go back to the goal line view and the pause man. it while he's winding back. Pause it when he's when he's winding back. He is looking at the flat. He's following Parker. He is looking at the flat, TD. Bro, I actually that's said that, I actually said this is one of the good plays that I like of his. That's that's why Parker was open. That's a second read. That's a second read. It's it's a second read. You'll see in the goal line view. You can't see it in this view, but you see his head move on goal line view on the goal line camera view. He looks at. I think he looks at the tight end going across. No, he's actually the tight end is not open. He actually doing okay. what he do, he actually doing what he does best. He looking okay. at the safety. Okay, so we'll we'll see we'll see when the goal line view. You you brought down the film, TD, so you should know. No, on this play, when I broke down the film, I, I saw the missed opportunity that he had. Yeah, because you wanted him to go to his third read, and he, he, and he didn't. And he hit Parker Thank in the you. head, but you killed him on Thank it. you. But this is what sure. I need you to No, no, no. This is what I need. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is hypercritical. Watch this, y'all. Look at that goal line video, Dad. Stop, stop, stop. Look at the pocket. Look at the protection. You tell me who the best option to go to right here. I'll give you. I, I might even give you. I might even give you two better options. But you tell me who the best option is to go here, right here. We talk about one guy who got potential double coverage with safety help, and another guy who running a post inside leverage for a potential touchdown with a great pocket. And you always talk about you want him to go to his third read. Parker ain't wide person. open. That ball got to travel. Time. That ball got to travel literally 25 yards with safety help. And you talk about hit him in his hands. When you could, when you scroll into this um play right here, the defender got his hands on it clear as day. Parker didn't drop it. The defender's hand was on it and batted it out. Look, chat. Look, chat. This is all I'm going to say. All, read, I'm ask, all, I'm ask you is, all I asked you is, all I asked you was, what is your best option right here? That's I don't all know what the I best asked option. you. I don't of know course, what the best option is because the quarterback don't. has discretion on every play. Of course you don't. But you want to take a tough throw to Parker with good coverage and a Jakeem Grant who got more speed than the guy he's running against with inside leverage one-on-one. -on -one. You cannot tell me that ain't the best option. But he doesn't go to that read, and you said you want him to go to his third read. Why doesn't he? I want to ask you, why read, is, is he under read. pressure? Is he under pressure? Second read, guys. So first on, I know I know his play TD. I, I know his play he did a first read on. It's probably first, coming up soon. First read, bro. He do a lot of right. the first read, but it's fine. Long all as right. it's open, okay. But I, I don't, right. my only point with first read is that's all they want him to do. Because can we look at the, he's capable of because he's can missing. Can we look at the goal line? Plays. Can we look at the goal line so people in the chat can see that this he's is his second his read? <laughs> no, 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 no. What you let me tell you once the one thing y'all <laughs> one thing y'all two two Y'all two apologists always do. Y'all fail to realize this man has flawless mechanics. Y'all think he's looking at a first read when he's looking at the safety to try to create where he really wants to go. And that's exactly what I see him doing on this play as well with Parker. He's trying to pull that safety. Look at this. Look, watch his head. Watch his look head. At, look at his head. He's not looking right there. He's looking at the safety. All right. Keep going. He's keep trying going. to keep pull going. the safety. Pause it. Pause it. Where he's now looking at now. Parker. Watch his head. He is, not at Parker. he is looking at Parker now. Watch his head start moving over with second. Parker. Look at see, he drove it with Parker. 
He, as he, soon as he, as soon bro, as he heard it, hold on, how, hold on, hold on. How am I, how am I hating <laughs> right here? He's looking at the safety, and he's gonna even make. If he's looking at the, even if he's looking at the safety, that's still a second read to me, bro. Okay, if that's what you want to call it, I'm talking about his receivers. He's looking at Parker. The quarterback and now he's, always high receiver. And now he's going. Now he's going to follow Parker. Watch his body just slowly follow Parker, right there. Where does that ball land? Look at the defender. Yeah, Perfect. Look at the def the defender batted the ball Perfect. down. The defender batted the ball down. Look at the defender all on him. Yeah. I'm not I'm not that guy. If it hits you in the hands, you catch it. And, and look at Jakeem Grant. Quarterback. Look at Jakeem Grant had to stop running and still has separation on oh, the inside. Oh, Jakeem Grant, the guys that dropped the ball. Oh, all the time. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. See, somebody said Parker is open. This is what y'all call open. This is what y'all call it open. Hit him in his hands. It hit him in this his hands. It hit the defender in his hands too. Nah, hit, hit Parker Dance. Def the defender not touching the ball? Let's go, TD. Next play. Next play. Yeah, because, my point I mean, is we, can, we can argue no, on this play. No, all we day. need to look at Jakeem Grant with a clean pocket, by the way. We ain't talk about that clean pocket, did we? We, we need to look at Jakeem Grant with a clean okay. pocket. So, TD, do you think two is sucks because he didn't hit Jakeem Grant? No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Let's keep on okay. playing. So, so that we can play. start. let's keep on playing it. Because you broke down the film and said he was trashed out there. So, I'm waiting on the trash play. It should be a bunch of them, right, TD? Hold on. My bad. I was checking something. Oh, my gosh. See? Stuff right here I'm talking about. This, oh, this is the, this is the, this is the coup de gras. This is the one right here that drove me crazy about Tua. This is the one that drove me crazy about Tua. This play right here. Now, is Jalen Waddle, I'm, I'm going to play one second of this play. What do you think about Jalen Waddle's defender? Is it man to man? That's man to man. He's following. How deep is Jalen Waddle's defender? About 10 yards, a little over 10 yards, 11. About 12 11 yards. yards. 12 yards. You got a guy in motion and he's running a quick little um out here. That's wide open all day. There's no other way to, to, to see that. There's a pre-snap. There's no other way to see that. That is all day. If this safety number 31 was right behind these linebackers running across, I get it. But we got 12-yard cushion on a guy in motion running a quick out. This is the stuff right here. You abandon the original play, and you give it to Waddle. Look at Waddle. Looks back. This is the stuff right here. You don't even fake the handoff because you about to have this wide open. But he's so. What, who is he focused on? He's one guy. He's one guy. RPO. RPO. Yeah, there's one guy though. That's all he's focused on. That's all okay, he's I'll, focused I'll, on. Look, I'll admit that's a bad pre-snap read, but we're not going to blame him for making a okay, one read no, no, okay. post-snap on RPO. Because that's just foolish, that's the right? thing. That, Once the play is foolish. called, that's the problem. Once the play is called, he's not identifying those small things like that. You okay, will so, so, forget the RPO. As soon as you see that kind of cushion, you go with the guarantee versus the, oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so so you're saying he made a bad pre-snap read. read. Absolutely. Okay, I, I, I'm with you on that. Now, I'm with you on that. Here's another that play. play. Here's As another quarterback play. Quarterbacks sometimes do. They're not perfect. Here's another play. Here's another play. Now. What do you see on this play so far? Priest and out. Mm, it looks like man so far. So far. Everyone's cover, lined cover, up. Cover two? Uh, I mean, you I got, can't tell. You got, you got the safety backing out. He backing out. So I, I want to say that, right? Now. Oh, yeah. I see the other safety. Yeah, that's cover two. Where should he go with this ball? Probably a whole shot, maybe. Let me tell oh, you. Oh no, this this is this is second read. This is just a drop play. This is just a drop play. This is a drop pass by Watson. He should have never threw it there. It doesn't matter, T D. You're gonna be No, 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 no. Don't tell five. me. Don't tell me it shouldn't matter. Right here, he's looking at that safety trying to hold him off, right? And he actually he actually does a good job, bro. Let me tell you what he did. Look at the safety. Watch the safety square his body up. 
Tua created that. You see the safety over here? Tua made him square his body up instead of committing to going to the outside. Tua kept looking at him and he said, ah, let me get back inside. I can't, I can't bail all the way to the sideline on this just in case. Tua's mechanics did that. Do you see the man got his man just beat about to go out for the go? Do you see this wide open man on the go? When Waddle Tua is made, still. Tua made a good read on that. He didn't make a good read. This is your shot. But, Are you kidding he, me? This he, is your shot. This, and the safety would have never made it. That's your shot. I don't want to hear it. You take that big play. Everyone in the chat, I asked TD to find me a, a horrible play that Tua made, a horrible read that Tua made. This one of them right here? Because if you're going to at least throw and it to Waddle. Could, Look, bro, bro. He first took of the all, play where he goes to Waddle on the second read on the third down, and Waddle just drops the pass. And that first, wasn't Waddle was not his first read. Bro, first off, let me tell you something about this defense that the Patriots are in. You see this corner right here? Truth be told, he could have picked this ball off if he would have played the defense he was supposed to play. This is the defense where all the linebackers reach their depth and they turn around. Okay. And the safeties are supposed to have the over the top. It's the same thing that we were running against um against them, and we were getting eight up in. But he saw that the safety was already beat, so he was like, "Oh man, I gotta go try to stop him." He out there jogging. He wanted to stop on the play. This is your read, and then on top of it, not only is that your read, if you're gonna at least throw it underneath the waddle, don't lead the pass too far out where the man can't even get it. TD, I'm not even saying you're wrong. I think you're right, but he didn't make a bad read on that play. He made a play that was going to extend the drive. So, And that is my concern with Tua Tungavaloa. He's always right. making a play, but not the best one. And, and that, can I tell you my concern with you, TD? Go ahead. You're not a critical person. Well, I think and I've been critical. watching you for – no, no, you're not, TD. I've been watching you for over a year. Okay. You are not a critical person. Matter of fact, I'll tell you the things you're critical of. You're critical mm -hmm. of zone defense. Mm -hmm. Before this Watson stuff came out, you were critical of overpaying quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. You dropped that. You're not even critical of that anymore. Not right? anymore. Not anymore. And you are critical of Tua Tagovailoa. Very, because he's supposed to be our franchise quarterback. You're not and critical of the receivers. And You're I not critical of the defense. You're not critical of the hold on. You're hold not on. critical of the, of the play calling. You're not critical of Brian Flores. Oh, God, you're definitely not critical of Brian Flores. Well, you're not I'm critical not, of I'm Will Grill. You are critical of zone defense in this QB. I'm critical of everybody who deserves criticism. If I see here, the, T. Rich, if I see, things, don't if play I and, see here, <laughs> T. Rich, if I see here and say the right tackle just got blown up and he was trash on the play, everybody shakes their head and agree. That's criticism. But then if I say Tua just missed the read, a, a, a guy who could have been moonwalking in the touchdown, why? no, I disagree. And we go back and forth for 10 minutes. So I got one minute to talk about an offensive lineman, and I got 10 minutes to talk about arguing about um, Tua. It automatically makes me look critical of Tua. But we're still talking about the one play. That's what happens on this channel every time. Every time I point out somebody's flaws, it lasts for 30 seconds because everybody's fine with that. But when I say anything about Tua, there's always rebuttal. We go back and forth for an hour, and then, look, we spent 59 minutes arguing on Tua, and you won't talk nothing about the O-line. That's how – that's the game. That's how it works. If you, if, if we got a disagreement, that, that's the area where you're going to hamper on. Y'all just don't like it. We're disagreeing. Chat, Once again, chat, chat when, Waddle fumbled a, when, when Waddle fumbled a punt right before the half, what did TD say? I didn't think it was a punt. He's a critical I mean, person. I didn't, hold on. I didn't think it was a – I didn't think he – Um, I was mad at the refs because I thought he regained possession. I was focused on the fact that it shouldn't have been a turnover. He picked the ball back up, got hit, fell on his elbow. The ground caused it to come out, and they say he didn't have possession. So, no, I wasn't critical of him. It was dumb of him to muff it in the first place, but that wasn't where my focus was. My focus was how is that a freaking turnover? He muffed the punt, and, and TD said nothing about Waddle. Like, bro, did, 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 did first <laughs> of all, he's not critical. You're not a critical all, person. First you don't critique. Did, first players. off, first off, you're lying because I sat there like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? 
But what did you say about Waddle? I don't even think you said, man, he got to catch that on the first on the first try. Bro, hold on. You didn't let's, say anything. Let's get something. Let's get something straight. It's insinuated. The two of misses a pass. I'm like, oh my god, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's no difference. You act like I'm getting this from Waddle all over the field. Two got two got hit and fractured his ribs, and you said that he should have made the he should have. You said he almost threw an interception, and he should have completed the pass. Still should have completed the pass. If the ball left <laughs> your hand before they hit you, let me see that pass complete, and hopefully you get up. He didn't get up. I would have been like, great pass, but man, he got hurt. But Waddle must have punt, and you say okay. nothing. Waddle I, drops a pass here, and you say two is trash because he didn't throw it to Greg instead. I, on did, a third and long. I did say something. I was just shocked at how the ref called it. Man, you ain't getting, <laughs> okay, bro, you're not giving context <laughs> on it at all. All I'm saying is Tua always makes a play but not the right one, and that's my issue. Okay, but does, does that make him trash? Does, does, does he deserve the critique that you're giving then, because he makes not, a good it, play? Bro, but he doesn't make the the great play that you want him to make. It's not gonna get it done. It's not gonna win and the I Super Bowl. It, I think it will. It's not gonna win the Super Bowl. I think it's it will because not, because for months you were the guy that said until Watson and stuff came around, you were the guy that said you don't need a elite quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Because so, I'm starting, I'm starting to realize. Oh, so you changed your mind? Yeah, I've been told everybody okay. that. Okay. So now TD believes that you need an elite quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Everyone remember that. You need a top 10 quarterback to win the Super Bowl. I agree. Okay. Okay. I agree. In today's NFL, you definitely need that because you got to be able to compete with the other quarterback. You got to be able to compete with the other quarterbacks. Okay. This is new. This is this is a new take. Well, I well, it's a new for you. I've been telling people that I've been off of that. You actually just said that I'm I ain't for paying um quarterbacks big money, but you've changed that. Have you ever asked why I've changed it? You ain't hear enough to everybody else know. Because Watson said he wanted to come to Miami. That's why you no. changed it. The, the, the all gone right. Let's just be because real. Because I know I know what he's <laughs> no, no, no. What what people need to understand is the reason why Watson's situation is so intriguing is because Watson will be running for his life behind this old line, but he's going to get more done behind it. See, we now now we ain't got to go spend everything to try to build a line for somebody that may not be the guy anyway. We're hoping that he is if we fix the line. See, people are automatically making an assumption that when we if we fix the line, two is going to be the guy. That's not necessarily true. I feel like it's ain't going to do nothing but give him more time to throw these seven yard routes all day. Okay, and we can we can get off to it and talk about this time. But like I said, TD has not shown me a horrible play that that two has made. I mean, besides the interception, that's I horrible. Show, I show you plenty, plenty horrible plays that, that he made. Horrible, made. horrible, horrible. Terrible we, pre -snap, bro, terrible pre-snap decisions. That's that's the problem. He don't know how to read a defense. He don't know how to go. Like he don't well, again, he didn't know the playbook last year, but gosh, he don't like he still runs plays that he know won't work. He even admitted that last year, and I'm still seeing it. What do you think too it would be if he had an average show on? The same thing. I don't see us getting that much. I don't see us getting that much more. Do okay. you understand that the impact of the O line on a lot of these plays hasn't really made much of a difference? Like, like let me let me give you an example. You oh, said you said on you no 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 look, look look at the Jaseki one, right? You said look at that pressure. He wouldn't open anyway. Right? Remember you said that, right? He wouldn't open yeah, he anyway. Threw him, he, threw him, he threw him open. A lot of these plays where he's running for his life, he cut off half the field, so he ain't got nothing anyway. I disagree. Yeah, okay. We can disagree. The line, the line is horrible on third downs, and that's why this team goes three and out. The money down. Can your offensive line be good when the defense knows you're going to pass the ball? It's the money down. And, and for me on third down, if I'm going to criticize – a player or deduct a point from a player every time they make a mistake on first and second down, I might deduct three points every time they make, they make a mistake on third down because that is the money down in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And on third and long, this offensive line cannot block, and that is a, that is the reason why a lot of these drives are stalled. Bro. And it's all on this play. Like, a other lot of the players, third downs. Other players are getting it done. 
Other players are getting it I done. Gave, I, gave, I gave you substance, and all you said was other players are getting it done. That's not <laughs> substance. Other players are other other players are getting it done. Okay. This, this is another play right here. Perfect example, bro. Oh, I love this play. I love this play. He reads the safety. This is also a second read. He reads the safety. Immediately, once he sees the safety is, is over the top, and he knows that Gasecki is going to the, co the corner, he gets mm -hmm. off that read and goes to Gaskins. That's and, he cuts off, and he cuts off half of his field. And then he doesn't even throw a ball leading Gaskins so he could try to run around the corner and go up the field. I got the first down. No, 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 he didn't. No, he this play, but didn't, the he play. didn't he fall? Yeah. Didn't he fall because he, he had to catch the low ball with actually a clean pocket once again? They got it off the next play. Huh? With the clean the pocket the once play. again. Oh, crap. With the clean pocket once again. And all I'm saying to you is I feel like he's going to lose the locker room at some point because he alienates everybody else on their route. There are five guys on the route here. He look at the safety, then he hits the flat. Five guys on a route here. Three guys, ain't you ain't even got a shot. The, the pocket is clean. You still ain't got a shot. You ain't got a shot. You are not going to be a part of this play because two is going to look left and never look right. Never look right on the play. Never. He never sees Waddle underneath. Creeping he reads right the behind safety. Him. That's the second read by the that's that's the second read okay, because I'm just I'm just debating you that he's a one read quarterback. He's reading the safety. I'm talking about how many progressions does he go through with his receivers. He's not even reading the safety. He's trying to pull the safety away. And that's not true. Why would he pull the safety away just to hit Gaskins underneath? That makes because, no sense. Because 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 then why would he look at the safety to begin with? Because Gaskins because he's trying because because he's because Kaseki is safety. running that route. Kaseki is running that route, and once he sees that the safety is over the top, he said, "No, that's not the right spot to go with the ball. Let me go to my second read." And 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 don't worry about anywhere else. You see what you just said? Let me go to my the second se read. Was open. Let me go to my second, bro. We always miss the bigger play to be made with Tua because he's going one, two. This is what teams are going to do to Miami. Take away anything he look at at the beginning, period. It might be okay. a bigger play on the other side, but don't worry about it. Let's just make sure the first thing he looks at, we, we were smothering it and taking it away because he's never going to look back or wait, have patience. Even with a clean old line that I keep telling you, even with a clean old line, Okay, well, I, w I, I want to say this. I want to say this. Tua averaged seven point five yards per play against okay. the Patriots. That is more than Justin Herbert. So you thought Justin Herbert pushed the ball his rookie year? No, sir. Tua average per throw in the in this Patriots game was higher than Justin Herbert's average. The reason why his average per throw was higher because he had a smaller sample size. He threw the ball less, and he had those two deep balls, one to um, Parker and one to um, uh, Waddle. That made his numbers look that way. But when you look at just the regular play of what's happening on the field, and also Parker had some yards after the catch on some of them slants, um, six-yard slants going for 12, 15 yards. But again, bro, it's always him making pulling the trigger quicker when there's a better play to be made. You're eliminating half of your options on the field, and that's what's frustrating. You got options, but you ain't taking none of them. You're taking the first one that comes to mind because you frazzled. The like I said, guys, one. not his first read, as TD first has been read. saying for, for – Not his read. first read, as, T, as TD has that's been mechanics. saying for – mechanics. He's looking at the safety, then the flat. It's the mechanics. He also got Waddle coming underneath, and he got his man. This is another one. He's stuck on his first read, but oh, he got I love a big this one play. Too. He got a big play from Jaseki. This is the one Jaseki got mad at. This is the one that Jaseki, you love this play? This oh, is yeah, the I love one, that play. This is the one Jaseki got mad at. Why? He hikes the ball. Show me. Show me. Show me right now. None of them open. So so don't, don't tell me nothing about the read. He, he sticks on Gaskins. He sticks on Gaskins. Look at Jaseki. Okay. Look at the move now, can, can we back made. it up and can we can we back it up? Can we back it up? We're here. All right. So context, everyone. They just get the first down because that's when mm -hmm. um Brissette came in and did the corp the QB sneak, right? Sure did, yes. At that point, it's a minute and fifty seconds left in the game. Okay. Brian Flores keeps 
Brissette on the floor and tries to draw them out offside. I honestly don't know what they tried to do. We're, uh, we're on this but, play. But they let 50 seconds go off the clock. And I say 50 because they let 40 seconds go off okay. the play. Off the okay. Clock. They get a penalty. They get a five-yard penalty for false start. And then okay. they let them have to take a timeout, which was a 10-second delay because it was under two minutes. So Even 50 more. seconds go off the clock. At this point, I mean, if, if you take that whole two minutes, the whole playbook is open. You can really take your time and score. For Thank reason, you. So you should be looking for the big play. Can, can I finish, CD? Can I finish? Go ahead. For some reason, Brian Flores does not trust his defense. I disagree with him. I think he should trust his defense. I don't think he needs to go for it on fourth and two in the middle of the field. I don't think he needs to uh, wind down the clock when, when you're 30 yards from the end zone. But that's what he did. I'm so still at, trying to at, figure at, out what they got to do with this play. I, I'm getting to it. At, on this play, it's about 40 seconds left in the game. As a quarterback, what you want to do, if you can get 10 yards and get out of bounds, you're going to do that. When he makes the decision to hit Gaskins, Gasecki is not open at that point. This is man to man, and this is one of the hindsight analysis. I'm talking about <laughs> this is man to man. Pause it. Pause it. He ain't hit nobody yet. Okay. He, pause look, it. Look. He already made his decision. I, we know that. That's all he does. Back it up. Who, back it up one more time. Try to try, who try got, to get it right. Hold on. Who would have got? No, 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 no. Hold on. Who would have got more yards and got out of bounds? If not, went up the sideline for a touchdown. Cause you need to look at you need to look at this play. Jaseki would have been up the sideline, but Gaskin was already open, bro. You got forty seconds. What are you talking about? Jaseki gonna end up on like the fifteen yard That's line. That's hindsight. You know that he doesn't know that. You know that, TD. Oh my god! Hindsight analysis. I don't hindsight hear. analysis. I don't want to hear. Hindsight I analysis. I don't want to look at Jaseki get mad. Look at Jaseki get mad. Look I don't at care Jaseki. about Jaseki getting mad. Yeah, I bet you don't, but that's why he losing in the locker room. And no matter of fact, you know what? I'm a, hold, room, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, ladies and that. gentlemen, I need to reverse what I just said. Jaseki might have scored a touchdown on this. All right, yeah, because yeah, that, 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 that would make look because at everyone the field. in the chat that would make seven TDs that oh, TD on, thinks that two should look have. He should have seven TDs. Look at the field, T Rich. Look at the field. Jaseki might have scored a touchdown on this, bro. Look at the that makes seven field. TDs, everyone. <laughs> Look at the field. What would Jaseki have done if he would have caught this? I want to ask you that. Right now, the ball is on the way to Jaseki, and he catches the ball right here. What would he have done? What would he have done? Because we still got 30-something seconds, and the clock is ticking. What would he have done? I don't know. So It's a, it's a cornerback. But cornerback following Grant um, or whoever that is going to the head end is already turned. His head is already turned. It doesn't Looking. matter. Jaseki still got outside leverage. At a bare minimum, he would have made it to the 10-yard line out of bounds. I don't, I don't play these ways. And now your quarterback got a few <laughs> shots for the end zone. Now he could take a few shots and stop the clock in the end zone. You got 30 seconds. You could take three shots if you want before you attempt the field goal. Worst Everyone, case, like said, that's the worst case scenario. Everyone, this is like what I said, I'm talking TD, about. He TD picks his guy. Results. He picks his guy. He always picks the guy, but there's a bigger play to be had. Look at Jaseki. Just hate it. And I know you don't care about Jaseki being mad, but he's going to lose that locker room. He's going to lose yeah, that guys, locker room for reasons this like this. Guys running routes for nothing. Look at Jaseki. Heat it. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> you think you uh, Jaseki feels the same way I do? Okay, guys. First and 15, he's on the 30-yard line. He gets 10 yards and, and stops the clock and gets his receiver out of bounds. He gets 10 yards and gets okay. out of bounds on the 30 yard on the 30 yard line. Okay, so what's your point? That's like perfect two minute drive. Like that's a perfect two minute drive type of play. And, and this and this is what I'm saying, TD. You are re, you you hate this kid so much that you are resulting to criticizing 10, 20, and 30 yard plays. You are criticizing because 10, we never 20, get them. The because we never get them. And the reason we never get him is because of Tua Tagovailoa. He misses him. You talk about I criticize him for the deep plays because we never get him because he misses him. Even on this play, I'm not mad he went to Albert Wilson. I don't, I don't dislike the read because he had no safety help. I wish he would have threw it a, a half second earlier or put it to the back pylon so he could have had a chance. But this is why Jaseki gets mad even on plays like this, headed I, towards the end zone. I, I think he, and listen to you, I'll, I'll say this. I think he should have hit Gaseki on this play 
But you know, you know, you know I what else I think? Don't. I think he made the right read. I just don't think he put the ball where it needed to be. I would have. Let me tell you why I don't think he would have hit Jaseki on the play. Because remember, I'm gonna give you. He actually, once again, we call his first read is reading the safety. That's the that's a cheating way to do it. But I get it. That's actually more efficient. I'll give him that. Okay. Um, he actually looks at the safety to see if Jaseki would be there early in the play. Look at this. He's looking at the safety now. He's looking at the safety. And the safety doesn't budge, so he abandons it. But little did he know. Sure enough. You see what I mean? So I get that. I'm not mad at this play. I wish he would have led it one foot in front of him, and it might have been a touchdown, or, hey, Albert Wilson might have dropped it. I don't know. So I'm not mad at him not going to Jaseki. I'm just saying guys are getting open. But he's making a decision so soon with clean pockets. See, we keep, every show, every play on the deep ball that I keep showing you, I want you to take a look at the pockets. Every single one of them. Because we pocket this, pocket that. You can't, he can't get down the field if he only got, if he ain't got two seconds. Every deep ball he throws, this is the pocket I see. Okay. Every yeah. one of them. But y'all talk about the O-line, the O-line, the O-line. The O-line will never have time to throw the deep ball because the O-line, every deep ball opportunity, I'm seeing a clean pocket. Okay. And 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 maybe we don't even have to take that shot if Brian Flores doesn't let a minute roll out the clock. Maybe Jaseki, we can just methodically Jaseki, go down the field and score a touchdown. Or but, oh, my bad. I, I know we can't criticize Flo. We or can't he criticize Flo. Or he throws it to Jaseki. See, we, we can't, can't criticize Flo. We can't do nothing about what Brian Flores already did. <laughs> yeah, we can't criticize him. We can't do He's anything about that. He made a mistake on that. But now let's see what we could do to make that. Oh, right that's the, the first field. time I heard that. No, no, no. Because the problem some of y'all have is the fact that y'all want to always look at somebody else. All I'm all I try to do is show the accountability for two. Uh I don't worry about what other people could have did better for him on the play. What could he have done better? That's Who all you, you when you evaluate Tua, the only thing you need to focus on is what he could have did better, not what everybody else didn't do for him. That's how you evaluate somebody. When I go to the O line and I'm breaking down film, because you must be ain't really watching the film study, I'm showing you the right guard just screwed this up. Oh my gosh, Hunt, that was trash. The guy you over there blocking with one hand, Austin Jackson, you ain't watch all of that. I'm only focused on the individual player and what they did at the time. So whenever it's time for me to critique Tua, I'm talking about what he could have done better, not what everybody else could have done better for him because that's what the coaches are doing. You think the coaches in the locker room on film with Tua? Yeah, Tua, you know, he should have blocked better for you. No, the coach is saying, hey, you got a guy who missed this block. What should you be doing right here? How do you how do you make this the best situation with disaster? That's how you're supposed to be coaching it. And that's how I break it down. That's why it seems like I'm nitpicking, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm showing you what a guy still can get done in a play because other guys in the NFL are getting it done when the old line breaks down. But TD, you're not saying you're not saying, oh, he missed that play. You're saying he's trash. Bro, I said his performance on a play is trash when I say that. Nah, you can't even call that. You can't even call the performance on the play as trash if, it, if, if someone if drops like a first trash, down, a third down if play. If you're playing like trash, you're playing like trash. Did I call him trash on that play to Albert Wilson? You call his whole, you call his Patriots game trash. It was trash to me. You because left too much. Be, you left be, too much on the bones. You left right. too much meat on the bones, bro. At what point? At what point, man? Please tell me. At what point do we now? Now here, here's what's um. Here's what's interesting to me. I'm actually glad that he didn't go to Jaseki on this play. These are the things that I also talk about with Tua Tagovailoa, right? And I know we don't want to blame him and say, well, he's running the play that needs to be run, man. I want my quarterback to tell Parker, go ahead and audible to Parker right now and run the go route. That's what I want my quarterback to do. Middle of the field all bunched up. We shouldn't even be looking to the right because everything they look like they in has it covered very well. It's already a zone scheme. We shouldn't even be looking to the right. You got your guys on the left side with less help. Let's make something happen over there. You run your wide receiver on a go route. Safety can never get there in time. This is the type of stuff I want my quarterback doing pre-snap. Forget the play. I'm, I'm tapping my helmet, whatever the signal is. Parker, give me that go route. I'm going to take a shot to you. You make the decision. 
This is stuff I'm talking about. Get them out of these raggedy plays. Get them out of it. And that horrible way, you know, block. Third down. This is third down, yeah, TD. Yeah, it is horrible. Remember what block. I said about third down? Yeah, it is horrible blocking on this. Let's see who screwed on up. On all third down plays. Let's see. There ain't no all no third down plays. Most of them. A lot of them. Here we go. You know what's funny about this play, though? Where is he looking? He looking right, but you say he never look. He you say he never looks right. So I don't no, know. No, no, maybe, no, no, no. He maybe right is left now. To look, <laughs> you know, he picked what side he want to look at. Who who is he looking to? I'm curious. I want you to tell me right now. Where is he looking? I would say Gasicki, but it's honestly hard for me to tell. So you mean to tell me he can look at Jaseki on on this play, but it ain't the closest one to out of bounds. Because before, two plays ago, it's important to hurry up and get out of bounds. But we got the time to look at Jaseki on this play. And, and, and the safety ain't going nowhere, and you're nowhere. still, still looking, looking there. there. I think at third down, you just want to get the first down. So why he so looking, why there? looking there? The time is time running is out. Running we need out. to we kick need a, to field kick goal. a field goal. We should be, we taking, should be shots. taking shots. I think they do got I think y'all do have two timeouts. Then why would why are we why are we rushing for the line of scrimmage right here? Right here? Oh no, we, oh, ain't no, got, we nothing. got nothing. We couldn't. Yeah, that was third down. down. We couldn't have had no timeouts because we would have called one. I think I honestly think that you had three timeouts. Flores don't really call timeouts during the game. Oh. Or challenge plays. I think my audio. Something was messed up with my audio. And T Rich, man, I ain't I, bro, I don't need to keep going too long because the second half actually gets ten times worse. We don't even gotta say I want to say one more thing. I want to I want to touch is on one what actually you. gets ten times worse. Looking to the right. That's a design open read. That's fine. I, and I'm not tripping about that. I'm just saying this is all they trust him to do. That's the point I keep trying to make to you. They only giving him what they trust him to do. And that's why this offense is so vanilla. Is they, they can only give you what they trust you to do. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And we run the wildcat. Quick little out route to um to um Waddle. And then and this is this is exactly um what I'll be talking about too. Well, the play was designed this way, but remember that play earlier where the defender was 20 yard, 50, 12 yards off? Same action that you had an opportunity on earlier, man. Sorry, but TD, I do want to. I want to. I want to get to one more topic, and then I'm. I'm gonna be out. Let's go. So I think part of the reason why this fan base want two is gone so bad is because you guys actually think you have a shot at Des Deshaun Watson. And I, I don't want to say that because you you guys do have a shot at Deshaun Watson, but we have to really dig into why Deshaun Watson asked for a trade. Mm -hmm. He wants to compete with Patrick Mahomes. The it's Dolphins went 10 and 6 last year. The Dolphins went 10 and 6, right? That's not why he That's asked the for reason three. why Deshaun Watson wanted to go to Miami. If Miami doesn't do well this year, I don't know if Deshaun is going to go to Miami. He knows he knows he knows why we're not doing well. I don't know TD. I don't he know knows TD. Why. TD. Can can you admit that Deshaun Watson, the reason why he wanted to go to Miami is because they're 10 and 6? They were 10 and 6. Can Bro, we admit that? No. So no, that's just irrelevant. That's it's irrelevant. It's not because Miami is 10 and 6, bro. It's simply because this is where he wants to be. He knows how he can impact this team. You think Deshaun Watson don't feel like all the issues we got in Miami, he won't come here and just wipe them out? He got his buddy Will Fuller. Then he going to have Devontae Parker. He got Waddle. He got the speed galore with the other guys. This man, and then he got a scat back. He got uh, Miles Gaskins, the, to the perfect type of back that he want, One, with Ackman who can catch the ball out of the backfield. Because he loved to do a lot of the running anyway. He knows the impact he'll have on this team. Deshaun Watson knows what he will make this team instantly. He's I just the don't difference. think he's that aware. I don't think he's, he's that aware. He's that aware of what? He's a, He was aware of Miami record 
and that they were one game away from being in the playoffs. If Miami go five and twelve, he's going to feel differently about Miami. You think you think if if the Saints make a bid for Deshaun Watson, he's not going to consider going to New Orleans? Our defense. If I'm going to do anything with this team for him, looking where he want to go, our defense. Deshaun I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares about that much about defense. You don't you don't get it then for all of these quarterbacks. Do you know every elite quarterback in the NFL? They want to play with an elite defense. That's less pressure. That's more opportunities. That's more stats for him. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what elite quarterbacks don't want to do, as what Dolphins fans are suggesting. I don't think he wants to run for his life. I don't think he wants to be Andrew Luck. Y'all want him to be Andrew Love. Y'all want him to run for his life. Y'all want him to take 60 sacks because he will take 60 sacks. First of all, that's a lying narrative that he's going to even run for his life. He's not even going to run for his life in Miami. You know why? He's going to look at the defense, know exactly what they're running, and guess what he's going to do at the line of scrimmage? He may not even call his protections. You know why? He's just going to switch the play into something that's going to destroy him for making that mistake. Deshaun Watson took 50 sacks last year. Okay. And was leading the league in passing. 71% completion percentage. That's not my point. That's not my point, TD. That's not my point. Let me finish. He took 50 sacks last year in PFF rated Miami Dolphins offensive line worse than Houston Texans. Okay. And he took 50 sacks. And I don't okay. think he liked that. Y'all okay. think he liked that. And y'all think he wants to go to Miami and do that over again. No. Y'all think he wants to run it back. I don't think he wants to run it back. Another thing you need to I don't realize, think he wants to be the song. I don't think he thing, wants to be Andrew. Luck. Another thing that you need to realize their offensive line was probably worse than ours. He just made them look better by escaping more and the stuff he did pre snap. Again, yeah, I, told took 50 you, I, told, I told you, and it could have been worse. It could have been worse if it wasn't him back there. Okay, imagine two, if he took 50. Imagine Tua over there. You think Tua just gonna take 50 with Deshaun having his skill set to escape? That's the point. Don't don't ignore that one. Hold on. If Deshaun Watson took 50 snaps, how many do you think Tua would take? And he ain't even got Deshaun Watson's assets on with his feet. Imagine what Tua would have took. And think, that's the difference. So he would take less here, bro. I think mobile quarterbacks run into more sacks. Like yeah, Brady wouldn't that. take as many sacks as I get that Michael too. Vick. I get that too. Another thing to, to your question of why would he want to come here? He wanted to come here because of the, should I dare say, racial tension in Houston with the front office. I did. What do you mean? He made he came out in the public and said it. He came out in the public and basically told everybody the type of behavior that he didn't appreciate from the owner. They said, what would it take for you to stay in um, Houston? The owner would have to fire the owner. Because right. of right. what he did. And then they said they were going to include him on decision making going forward with the head coach. And they didn't. And then they wanted to bring a minority in just for show. And he said, I want to be traded. I'm done. And then they bring in someone of, of um, minority. And he was like, it's too late now. That was one of the main reasons that he was leaving Houston. Because the okay. owner and the way that and, and why else did you think Miami? Why did you think Miami came out as one of the front runners to begin with? Because as far as the racial tension, it's clear that our owner doesn't have that. Having a African American GM and a coach, these are things that everybody already knows. That that was a deciding factor in in it as well. Plus, we're a team that he knows can actually contend for a Super Bowl right now if he comes to Miami. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You think you think Watson's gonna go to a five and twelve team? Keep believing that. But we're I was not winning that, five games. All right, we'll see. We'll see. But I, we got I'll, the fifth easiest one schedule thing. in the NFL. I'll I'll say this one last thing. Tua is an asset of the Miami Dolphins. An asset can either appreciate or depreciate. Assets don't depreciate. Sorry. Assets depreciate. No, you're talking to a financial guy. Assets no, don't depreciate. No, real estate. Land assets, doesn't depreciate. 
assets. Land doesn't depreciate. Cars uh, depreciate, TD. Cars are assets. Well, well, you know what? I'm going to give you this. Assets only uh, depreciate if you sell it when the market is down. No, cars depreciate, TD, and well, cars are assets. Cars de depreciate, but cars also up e appreciate as well. They, they, TD, they I'm an accountant. Well. Money depreciates because of inflation. Well, assets you're saying depreciate. that cars don't increase in value? Cars do not deprecate in value. Cars depreciate as soon as you take it off the lot. So why did it, first of all, first of all, this is where accountants, this is why, and now let me stop. Listen, <laughs> this is where you're wrong. Cars appreciate. Generally, cars depreciate. Right now, cars are appreciating. If you bought a car two years ago for $25,000 and you go to sell it today, you'll get 30. Why? Why are they appreciating? Because they're not making enough of the chips to make new cars right now. So all the car prices have increased. My sister bought a car for $13,000. It was just totaled a few weeks ago. They wrote her a check for $17,000. Have you been to a dealership lately? My vehicle got totaled a few months ago. That's why we, I mean, we actually had it actually a few months ago with our car. What we paid for, we actually got more for it. All right. They're appreciating right now. Okay. I, I don't, I don't want to bore people. I don't want to bore people, but no, could you I, I want to make this football related. Incorrect. You bring all of these false facts. People the can Google reason, this. People can the only Google. reason vehicles depreciate is because the demand for them, they, they make them so fast. But right now, you're in a market where they're not making them fast enough. They're buying them. Everyone Google do just like cars depreciate, and I'll leave you with that. But my point they is do depreciate, but they also appreciate. They're appreciating right now, bro. Go on, go on to um car whatever online and put your vehicle in and you see how much you think it costs and how much you can get for it today. You'll be okay. shocked. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to die on this hill. I know the answer, but I don't want to die. I don't want to die shocked. on this hill. My point, my point, TD, is tool of value can either go up or down, but the Dolphin fan base is actually rooting against Tua. If you're smart and you want Watson, root for Tua to do well, because if he do if he does well, it makes it easier to obtain Watson. He yeah. has a trade value after that. It makes it easier to get him. And Watson will more likely Watson will more likely go to a team that was successful the year before. He don't want to go to a bad team. I, so, I agree. I agree with you. But let me tell you this. That's just like saying, don't draft Tua. Let's just hope Rosen works out. That's the same thing you're saying. D because if we should be rooting for Rosen to work out, because if he does, we don't have to waste the number five pick on Tua. We can Not use that for, for office alignment for, for, for Rosen. You're saying the exact same thing. This is this is all I'm saying, TD. Because you're you're a Dolphin fans, right? Because I'm not mm -hmm. watching the Dolphin game no, this weekend. Well, we you're know. a Dolphins fan. Do you? And, and two is your asset because you know? you're a fan of this team. Do you want that asset to be worth zero, or do you want it to be worth anything? It's worth zero now. Who would trade for him? I don't know. If he throws twenty touchdowns, people would trade for him. If we talk about his value today, I mean, he had two touchdowns the first game. But I mean, that's value. all I got to say. So. Houston that, said, nah, we don't want to. I mean, that's 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 really just for the fan base. Like, yeah, but his it's value, smart to want not to, a, to do he well. is not an asset right now. First of all, he is worth less than we paid for him right now. We can't get a first round pick for Tua right now. If you think we can get a first round pick for Tua, you're lying. No, he, yeah, he's not worth the first round. But maybe, how is he an asset if he hasn't appreciated? He's already depreciated. How is he an asset? Think about it, TD. If he plays well enough to where Houston is like, hey, we'll take him and we and, and we won't ask for six draft picks. We'll only ask for three draft picks. Then that helps. But the, I mean, that's just my but take they on won't. it. But 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 again, the point you just made was just so wrong. He ain't even worth what we paid for him. And you talking about asset. It's a long season left. And he, he wasn't placed on IR. At this so. very moment, he ain't worth what we paid for. And you talking about asset. I agree. You a financial guy? How are you going to equate that to being an asset? Well, he's an asset, even if he, even if, even if he's worth zero. <laughs> I mean, computers are assets. A, a computer from nineteen ninety is an asset. It has to have some value. Even a computer from the nineteen nineties, if it's worth two cents, I'll give you that. But again, bro, don't say if it's worth zero, it's an asset. It's not. It's trash. If All it right, has but zero we, value, it's trash. It may be sentimental value or something, 
but if you if nobody will pay for it, it's not an asset. Assets are dealing with financials. This is what I'm saying. I think I think Tua can come back and throw 20 to 25 touchdowns. As a Dolphin fan base, even if you hate the kid and you think that Flores and Gersh should trade for Watson, root for Tua to do well and then make that deal more sweeter. Who are you telling? That's what I was hoping for. I don't right. like this. this. I don't want him on, on the that. field. I want him on the field so that he could continue to show that if he does make a play, it ain't the right one. So that we could move <laughs> on sooner. I am mad that this man ain't playing this week, whether y'all want to believe that or not. I've told everybody, oh, man, all this does is the delay the inevitable. That man need to be on the field taking every snap because the more snaps he take, the smaller he looks and the less people support him. You know why? Because they finally realized, no, this guy ain't it. I mean, I've seen average. I've seen good. I've seen guys that will be good, but it still ain't it. Tua ceiling is being all right. I mean, he, he he's oh he's a, he uh, he's good. I like like no, but that ain't getting it done. Yeah. That ain't getting it done. All right. I need well, him on TD. the field. This is disappointing to me. I hope. See, Amari Cooper has fractured his rib in the game last week. Amari Cooper is playing this week. He's playing this week. I need him to have a speedy cover like Amari Cooper. At least come back next week. I want him back as soon as possible. You know why? Because let's say he do ball out and he changes the narrative. Then my narrative changes. That's all I've ever been, T-Rich. My narrative is his narrative. Whatever he does, that's my narrative. If he comes out next week and gives four touchdowns, 300 yards, and look like an amazing quarterback, they're going to be like, TD flip-flopping because he flip-flopped. I'm just giving you what he giving me, and that's fair. That is fair. That's all I've ever done. It ain't my fault that he's been underwhelming and less than great most of the time. It's not my fault. I go to camp and I see great things from him. I come back raving. Old oh, TD is went away from the dark side. He sees the light. I do it. I hope it stays right away. Gone. Right away. Gone. I call it how I see it, bro. And at the end of the day, we could call that hate. And I'm always going to nitpick my quarterback because I want to point out the flaws that I want to actually witness him get better at so that I can appreciate his growth. Versus be delusional and act like he has none. And then all of a sudden, when he balled out, be like, oh, he always been doing that. No, nah, I saw his growth. I appreciate his growth because it told me he had it in him and he put that work in. That's what I've always been about with Tua Tagovailoa. It looks like hate because I want him to clean up every little nitpick thing because that's how they coaching him. That's how they're coaching him. They got it. You're supposed to nitpick everything. I'm not going to always be right. I'm just telling you my truth and what I see. It don't make me right, but I got my opinion, and it's a strong one. But it's starting to look more and more factual. Now, he needs to change that. I'm not responsible for changing that narrative. He got to change that. I think it's I think it's hard for Tua to change the narrative because so many people are against him. Like, you could just... You can just tell how the media is. Like when you look I'm at all these young it. quarterbacks, hold on, TD. All these young quarterbacks, they're train wrecks. They're I'm train wrecks. Was Tua ever a train wreck? I'm affecting Tua. Was Tua ever a train wreck? The media is affecting Tua. The noise was, is affecting him now. No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't. I don't think he listened to it. But I'm just that, saying. But like, that's what you just said. No, we're talking about the narrative. Yeah, but and you media said, does drive narrative. But 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 what does that have to do with calling it how it is? Tua is underwhelming right now. Well, is Justin is Justin Burrow over underwhelming? He's playing like trash to me right now. Could you could you imagine if Tua threw three interceptions on three pass attempts? And I would be killing him for it. Is is, is Trevor so Lawrence is he underwhelming right now? Trash right now. Is Zach Wilson underwhelming right trash, now? Super trash right now. What about Justin Herbert? Amazing. Because he hasn't scored over twenty points. Bro, why do y'all ignore the eye test? Why y'all ignore the eye test? Is it about the eye it, test or is, is it, it about this man? Is this man, is it his fault? He throws a dart in the end zone to his man and his man literally falls down and the guy gets a gift interception? Is it his fault that he drive them all the way down the field and they call that bogus holding call and bring him back? Justin Herbert is out here bowling. Justin Herbert is throwing passes that I ain't seen my whole Making throw. excuses. Justin excuses, Herbert, TD. Oh, excuses. You, can, you can call him whatever you want. Justin <laughs> Herbert is the best quarterback that came out of the draft in the last two years. 
period. Matter of fact, he's already in the upper echelon of quarterbacks in the NFL. You and can Baker call him however you his, want. And Baker Mayfield was, his, was the best quarterback in his draft the, the uh, first year as well. Okay. See, it's so whatever we'll narrative. See. It's whatever narrative they're giving you at the time, bro. You can come out. You can come out amazing. Herbert can suck next year, and I'll be like, he looked like trash. I'm only giving you the narrative they putting out. That's it. So y'all need to stop getting mad at me for putting out the narrative that two is putting out on the field. Once he balls out, you're gonna see me raving. People ain't gonna like that, but I don't care what they think. I'm a. I'm gonna yell about how good he looks. He gotta do it. To me, he balled out in the Patriots game, but I'm going to just leave it at that. It's been fun, TD. Balled uh, out, Tell huh? Hillary, please don't block me because I thought she was going to block me at one point. But, you know, I enjoy the channel. Keep doing what you're doing. It's been fun. We got to do this another time. Hey, but I appreciate good debate. it. Good debate, though, bro. And, and, yeah. and good job holding your own, even though it was delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone have a good night. <laughs> appreciate you, man. Hey, that's some good stuff, man. Good. Um, I appreciate everybody that came through tonight. You notice, um, I'm about to end the stream. You're the only one left backstage, but I can't because you haven't cammed up. You've been back there all day, but you never cammed up. All right, so that's why I never um moved on and brought you on the screen. Um, can we talk about our linebacking core? It's bad. Yeah. Um, we'll hit that tomorrow evening. You know, I'll be doing a stream tomorrow evening. Um, y'all know we're gonna talk about these Raiders. You know, I did a collaboration with a Ra Raiders YouTuber. I'll probably drop that video tomorrow, basically in my community tab. Um, they think they're ready for us, but I ain't gonna lie. Something I didn't know about the Raiders that made me feel better about the game. They were like, "Our run game sucks. We can't run to save our life." I was like, "Ooh, we bad at the run. Ooh, oh, we might have, we might actually really get this one because our secondary legit. So we might actually get this one, man. Hey, man, this was the first smoke show." This is what it's about. Good, healthy debating, going back and forth, coming at each other. At the end of the day, for everybody who came on the show, I salute to you for not backing down and manning up and coming on the show. Not all these people that hide behind the keyboard, talking all that noise and can't even um, stick your chest out enough to show your face in front of everybody. Um, so to everybody who came on the Smoke Show for the first time, shout out to you. Appreciate you. This was a good one. Um, I think everybody did a good job making some points early on. It started rough people making, you know, assumptions and just things in my opinion, that didn't really have, um, factual, um, backing, but, uh, definitely the last two guys brought some really good points. Um, and we went back and forth about them. Um, but all in all, man, we're all dolphin fans. We just want our team to win and I don't care how it happens. I have no loyalty to a single player on this team. And for the record, ladies and gentlemen, don't let people lie to you and tell you this narrative of what you owe a player, what you owe this team. You owe this team and a player nothing. They owe you everything because you're the one paying for the product. You're the one supporting the product. You don't owe them anything. You're not a real Dolphin fan if you don't support our players, but the same people didn't support Josh Rosen, Tannehill, Pat White. And it, they, they don't sure don't support um nor monogamy right now. Imagine if we had people, the same people mad that you don't support people. Imagine if they were arguing with you. Man, y'all need to stop. Y'all supposed to be back in Noah. Y'all should want him on the field. He needs to be started. Yeah, but they ain't gonna ride hard for him. But they justify their support of Tua in the name of the team and fandom. That don't work around here. I'll read right through your lies. The truth ain't in you. You're a lot of yourself. You're a lot of whoever. Miami Dolphin fans, you don't owe this organization or none of these players nothing. They owe you everything because you pay their salary. Your dollars pay their salary. This team needs to win a Super Bowl to make us happy for all the money that we've spent to support them monetarily. That is a fact. This false narrative. You ain't a real Dolphin fan if you ain't supporting. Show me that same energy with no egg monogamy right now. I can't find a person who's supporting this kid. And I still think that it ain't a rush with him. They can keep developing him because he's the youngest player on the field. But no, I ain't with it. And last thing before I go out, get out of here. Isn't this O-line just as young as Tua? Didn't most of this O-line come in around the same time as Tua? But the panic right now is we need to get better offensive linemen. 
So which offensive lineman would you like to replace right now? Austin Jackson? Oh, but he ain't entitled the same development and growth that Tua did, even though he came in the very same year and had a later draft stock and was drafted after him. Robert Hunt? Liam Eichenberg, Solomon Kinley. Show me, show me which one of them you want to replace that has had a longer tenure than Tua. Now, I give you the one if you talk about Jesse Davis, but Dieter's actually played very solid, so I can't say that. So, honestly, if you're going to support Tua the way that you are, then there are four offensive linemen that should be untouchable on this team right now. Actually, five. Because Dieter ain't playing as bad as people want to make it seem to want to move on. Yeah. Well, you need to fix it. Go pick it up, okay? Dieter ain't playing as bad. Solomon Keeley is just as young. Hunt is just as young. Austin Jackson is just as young. And you just got Liam. So where's the same energy? We need to make the old line better. Well, we need to make the quarterback position better too. So where's the same energy? The only one that I, I I wouldn't trip about making that type of argument is Jesse Davis. But that ain't what we doing. That ain't what we doing. We trying to call Hunt, Kenley, um, Austin Jackson. We trying to call for their job and bring somebody new in. That's all we're trying to do for two. Replace three, um, four, for the one guy. Well, some people will, the other people are saying replace one guy for the other three. Replace two or to, uh, and lead the other three. Some people are saying that. You see where the contradiction is? You see where the hypocrisy lies? And I must admit, yeah, I may be, I may talk about two or more than anyone else. That's only because everybody already does the job talking about everybody else. I'm trying to even the playing field and show the hypocrisy out here. You want to replace three guys that are just as young or younger than Tua. But Tua get time to develop and they don't. And most of them at new positions. That they didn't even play last year. Didn't even play last year. It's hypocrisy. That's why people need to stop complaining about the O-line. And let's go ahead and see if this team can continue to grow and get better. Critique the O-line. It's better off if you say Austin Jackson whiffed on that. What he needs to do is use two hands when he's blocking instead of one. But that ain't what we do. We jump straight to he need to go. I can see if Laramie Thompson was talking about I want to be traded. And Miami is my destination. I would have that conversation. Hey, we need to get Austin Jackson up out of here, baby. Hey, go get Tunsil again. If it's cheaper, but it ain't going to be. But y'all get my point? I'd be saying it too. But right now, you don't see nobody knocking down our door saying, I want to come to Miami and play left tackle for y'all. So he's what we got. He's what we got. The only reason this situation with Deshaun Watson is so big is because everybody knows he wants to be in Miami and we have the assets to acquire him, but are we going to pay the price? We're not going to pay that price. So time will tell. Maybe when Tua comes back from this injury, something clicks and we start lighting it up. We start just – we got the fifth easiest schedule in the NFL. When he gets back, we got our e we got our easy run. This is our hard gauntlet, by the way, y'all. The games that we play in the first five, that's actually our hard stretch. Tua will be coming back to an easy schedule. I want to see him shine. I don't want to see him play good. I want to see him shine. Why? Because it's an easy schedule. I'm not going to be fooled by, oh, he put up 230 and two touchdowns in all those games against the Jets, the Jaguars, and all of that crap. No, that doesn't, that doesn't move me. I want to see it. I want to see him going through them, them progressions. I want to see him not miss those big plays when he got a great pocket. I want to see this O-line get better and protect him and, and maintain his, his cleanliness. I want to see them make sure that they run block better. I want to see all of them grow. But if we don't get that, the conversation continues. 
because we need to start holding this team accountable and saying this is what we need to do. Y'all not doing it, y'all suck. I'm not spending money on y'all. This TD fans talk home to the real Miami Dolphin fans. Thank y'all for tuning in to the first smoke show. I'm surprised a lot more people didn't show up. I had like four people show up. Quinte uh, don't don't count. So technically, I had like three people show up. I'm surprised I ain't had like 40 people show up. That's how they act in the comment section. But I get it. The same people that got a loud mouth, scared to show their face on camera. Scared to show their face on camera. I don't know why. You know, God made you that way. I don't know why. It's okay. You know, <laughs> I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. This is some good, healthy debate, some good, fun debate. This is how it's supposed to be instead of getting personal, man. We're going to continue to have these. Um, I know some of y'all said go on to the next person because um, me and T. Rich was going for quite some time. There weren't no more. The only person backstage was like a you know this, but he wouldn't cam up. He wouldn't cam up. There was nobody else behind T. Rich. Just so y'all know. That's all That's all I know. But good job for all those who did come up and had a healthy debate. Great points y'all made. All right, man. I got to get out of here. The little one over here. What's up? You hungry? See, you do. Come here. You hungry? Yes. Did you eat your dinner? Yes, I eat. What do you want to eat? Pizza. Pizza? Yes. You want to eat pizza every night. You got to eat the dinner we give you, okay? And you, you you can't just wait late at night to wake up late and then whine until you get what you want. Yay. And I know we spoil you, but that's going to cut out, okay? okay? So no pizza. No no pizza, okay? Okay. I want to eat something wrong. You want to eat something else? Yes, I want to eat something wrong. No, you can't have anything else. It's time to go to bed. You want to go to bed? Nope. I want something wrong. Hmm? There was something wrong. You want some fruit? Yeah. No, you don't. You're going to waste it. Yeah, I want fruit. All right, we'll get you some fruit, okay? We'll get a little bit. Me and you will eat some fruit together, and then you got to go to bed, okay? Eat the vegetables? Vegetables? You ain't going to eat the vegetables. You going to eat it? You want me to cut up some cucumber? Uh, yes. All right. You're going to make me make it for nothing or you're going to eat it? Okay. Lime. I love melon and hmm? cheese and chicken. Hi, chicken? Guys. You ate chicken today already. It's uh, all done. You all done? Yes. Yeah, all right. Say bye-bye to everyone. Yeah. Look. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say, I love you. I too. No, I said, you tell them I love you. Love you. They said, bye-bye. They said, mac and cheese? Yes. You want mac and cheese? Nope. It's so yucky. It's so yucky? Yes. <laughs> hey, what's mac and cheese yucky? Yes. Oh, boy. All right. They said, bye-bye. You see them? Bye. They said, TD, give the young man a slice of pizza. I want to sell some pizza. We got to cut that out. Kimmy, you see what this It's almost midnight. It's midnight, and you know we got to wake up at 4 in the morning and travel. All right, it's time for you to go to bed. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some fruit, okay? Mommy's still up, though. I see her in the comment section. She's not asleep yet. So go tell mommy get you something to eat, okay? <laughs> All right, baby. You'll get him something to eat. I'm going to stream for like six more hours. <laughs> hey, he coming to you right now. Just so you know. <laughs> you tried it. No, no. Go get him some. Because first of all, you say you put him to bed. Now I'm talking to my wife on the stream and she... In the other part of the house, you told him he was. You told me he was in bed that they were put to sleep. Now he coming out, so that's on you. How you gonna lock the door on that boy? Open the door. Open the door up and get him a snack. You say you put him to bed, and now he up. 
and you're going to lock the door on them. Well, I tell you, you see how flagrant she is, y'all? That is flagrant. Unlike the door. He probably out there standing in the dark by himself, scared. That's not what happened. Then what happened? <laughs> How about TD Slick? Slick for that. No, nah, he's slick for staying up. TD Full House Show, um, Elbow Cough. Hey, we have fun, baby. We have fun. Where are you traveling? Just to my sisters um, to hang out for a little. Um, and we'll be back in the evening. Just going to hang out, spend a day um, on her side of town, a few hours away. Penalty. You kept their TV on. I didn't keep their TV on. You read them a story before they went to bed. Or did you not read their story before they went to bed? So how did I keep the TV on? See, now I'm going to have to review the film with my wife, y'all, showing her, probably going in there saying, y'all want to watch TV? And they like, yeah, when it was bedtime. And she's like, y'all got to be quiet. You can't tell daddy. And she probably shut the door. And now she probably dozed off a sudden, woke up and said, oh, he's still alive. And now Cammy is out. And she's like, well, that's not what happened. Yes, it is. You let them stay up. And I bet your car to sleep. I've been doing your laundry. Nah, stop. I ain't heard you out there. <laughs> and moderating your chat. Ma 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 tell me which one it is. No, you wake me. Oh, because I'm that loud? Uh, TD sleeping on the couch. Shh, you ain't had to bring it up. Now you're making it a thought. But I ain't sleeping on the couch. Not tonight. Right, babe? <laughs> Didi, can your son evaluate college prospects better than Greer? We can use an upgrade at the scouting department. Listen, he's going to be a prospect. Y'all going to see. He's going to be a Dolphins quarterback. They gonna be, and I'm Listen, my son become a Dolphins quarterback, I'll be right here just like I'm doing to him. Oh, my. If he mess it up, no, nah, he ain't going to mess up, though, because he going to know. He going to know better. He going to know better. But if he playing like trash, man, I listen. I listen. Y'all don't know how I am with my kids. I call it how it is and tell it how it is. This world ain't gonna forgive nothing for you. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Telling them the truth. You reaching? Ain't nobody reaching. Um, you guys are funny. Your wife is a one book read, um, wife. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She tried to defer. She tried. We she, she every night. Well, you read them at this time. And we got to rock, but we rock, paper, scissor everything out. Any disagreement, any issue, we just rock, paper, scissor it out. And I usually like destroy her and rock, paper, scissors every time. It's like almost not even fair. I don't know what it's been like the last two months, like the last month really, but I've just been losing. And maybe that's two of fault too. <laughs> Boy, I ain't right, am I? I ain't right. Man, you hear one unwinding in the middle of the night, you got to check to see what's going on. Long as it ain't nothing dangerous, then, you know, I got to go check it out. But then we, all right, rock, paper, scissors, everything. Um, Y'all know he lying. Leave the chat. <laughs> you have a beautiful family, TD. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I make, up most, I make up most of the beauty of it, man, but I appreciate it. <laughs> she can be like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. See, now, now I'm trolling my wife, y'all. Y'all got me trolling my wife. Maybe I am going to sleep on the couch. Maybe I am going to sleep on the couch. Already criticizing his son. Show him the Hall 22. Look, son, you're a one week quarterback. He ain't going to be that, man. Um, you got me red. Um, TD turning into Pete. And all to his fault. And I always win – Paper, scissors, rock. It's not paper, scissor, rocks. It's rocks, paper, scissors. Y'all tell me in the comment section, what is it? Isn't it rock, paper, scissors? It's not paper, scissor, rocks. Nobody called it that. That must be a Texas thing. Doghouse. Smart man makes his couch more comfortable than his bed. Ooh. Shh. You're sleeping on the couch. How dare you? I'm mad. No, I'm just mad. <laughs> Uh, yes, TD. Rock, paper, scissors. Lizard spoke. <laughs> see, see, nope. It appears scissors rocks. It, no, it's paper, scissors rocks. Baby, I'm sorry. You're wrong on this one. It is rock, paper, scissors. But if you want to be right, happy wife, happy life. So we'll give it to you this one time. 
But it is rock, paper, scissors, baby. I'm just telling you that so that you can be on the right side of this, all right? When I went to the restaurant, I didn't know the menu. Playbook really well. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, man. Rock, paper, scissors. That's all right, man. My wife already know, man. It's a difference growing up in Texas than in Florida. Um, Texas people got everything backwards, man. I say paper first. We know what you say first. We know. Um, who would win in a staring contest? Oh, Lord, that's random. All right, man, we, I'm finna get out of here. That way I can go hang out with the wife. Maybe we can um, chill for a little. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe, and like I said, if y'all want to check us out on OnlyFans, man, go subscribe now to the OnlyFans. Um, babe, put our um, OnlyFans tag in the comment section for everybody to check. <laughs> she probably like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we do not have an OnlyFans. Baby, I thought we said we were going to be transparent going forward, man. Drop the OnlyFans link. Stop that. We don't care what nobody th <laughs> Oh, man. She, she is important for her to clarify that. Y'all see that? I'm trolling my wife. Y'all ain't right. Y'all set me up, man. Y'all going to have to buy me a nice couch. Y'all going to have to get me a new couch because I'm going to end up having to wear this one out. This is why people don't like you. <laughs> My own wife is a TD hater now, y'all. She mad at me. Don't unsubscribe, baby. Hit the like button. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I got to stop, man. Man, TD, you make, uh, make me make mad. TD, you make mad sometimes, but I love you, bro. God bless you and your family. TD has zero football IQ. None at all. Matter of fact, it's negative, bro. Negative whatever you want to put it as, all right? A happy wife, a happy life. Yeah, man. He said, man, I'm about to get out of here, man. TD, can you play left tackle? Um, Listen, they give me that league minimum, I'll play whatever they need me to. You give me that league minimum, I'll play whatever you need to. I just need one game check. You can, you can cut me after that. That's all I need. TD got a clean cut. Ooh, hold on, hold on. I got a show. Ooh. Yeah, man. I had to get a haircut today, man. You know, we we like every time we do an OnlyFans episode, we like to be clean when we do it, you know. So y'all check that out. It'll be dropping tomorrow, all right? All right, but anyway, man, I'm out of here. Let me go and listen to the wife get mad at me about even playing around like that. These ain't jokes. But, um. I'm finna get out of here. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I will see y'all later. Fins up no matter what. Cowboys suck. So now I'm really sleeping on the couch. Um, but hey, I will see. She's saying stop. All right, baby. I'm going to stop. You're right, baby. You're right. I'm sorry, baby. Please forgive me. Okay. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you. All right. Um, ATD, you should be our offensive coordinator. Nah, I'll probably make sure we might only score three points a game. But anyway. I'm out of here. Love y'all. Peace. I am out. Baby, don't be mad at me.